Oh boy. So good. I can actually breathe down here. I have a mask seems to be holding. Hey. What's up, dude? What are we eyeing in about? Are you that excited to watch some horizon, dude? Understandable, man. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Fuck Miyazaki. And fuck Elden Ring, holy. What's wrong, man? Not liking it, man? Is it too hard, man? Or what, what is it? Because they were getting a whole underwater part, but it's like. These janky controls. Yeah, I am really glad I'm playing the console one, and it's a damn shame if the game is actually good that it has such a horrible PC port, <clears throat> and that they didn't clean that up. Really? Oh man. Yeah, it's really fucking taking a dump on the game's uh, reception. I'm hoping that my performance is fine enough on a stock Xbox One so that I can at least just judge the game on its merits, whether they're good or bad. Technical shit's always just fucked. Dude, this area is cool. This is a bit more creative. Reusing the holograms of like a Las Ve like a flooded Las Vegas here to recreate like an underwater zone under a desert or something. I think that's neat. That looks like a way out. Beside him down here, somewhere. Wish he would shut the fuck up and we could let the music and the visuals do the talking. I mean, obviously they're just gonna ruin it. Whoa! Big machine. There's no way I can fight that thing underwater. I'll have to be careful. This place is massive. All of it's encased in a dome. I'll turn up the music a bit. That sucks, brother, man. God knows if it'll get a fix anytime soon for you to use. I won't make 
open the door before the machine spot me. Yeah, I don't know why they released it in that state. Did every reviewer just get like a, a different copy? Or do they all play console versions? <clears throat> the music here is actually good. I gotta wonder if they've got influence from Blade Runner in a way. 2049. 2049 had a very large section in a ruined Las Vegas, making use of like certain holograms and the music kind of similar. This is obviously very different still, but. I got those vibes. <clears throat> I mean, invisible enemies wouldn't be bad if it was just certain ones and pointless places, but your horse? That's pretty important, right? If you have to get off often. These are doing some heavy lifts in here. Camera is a little better. Doesn't seem like you're the only one, though. Not by a long shot. I just don't know how they could have released it like that. Yeah, your particular problem's gonna get handled probably way later than the others unless it's extremely simple to solve. Which sucks. Oh, really? <clears throat> well, you're gonna probably be like lower priority. I've had that before where I have a particular problem that is extremely rare so it just never gets fixed. Because there's so much other stuff. Yeah, this shit almost sounds like some Vangelis music. Maybe not Vangelis, but it's close. But, but fuck it. I don't care if it's the kind of soul that's <laughs> extremely influenced by some other shit, at least it's cool.
Yeah, that's so weird that enemies would disappear. So they they exist, right? They're just invisible, just visuals. I guess that's what that means, but. trying to get It's actually over here. Yeah. Here's hoping they have some day one patches or so. Not day one, but patches coming. Straight through the middle? It's very risky. That door over there? Start for the stash. Like this is gonna be the only like somewhat cool thing in the whole game, dude. That and falling through the earth was probably the best part. But I think this, it's definitely not a gameplay thing, it's not that smooth to run through here, it's more just the visuals and music making some nice atmosphere. And there's not much dialogue, which is nice. <clears throat> I don't think they're telling much of a story visually, but I mean, you gathering correctly that it's Tokyo, or not Tokyo, but you know, Vegas. What it is. It's cool on it then. It's like an explorer. Twisted ruins type of thing.
just going in a big circle right now. Did you get very far in the game, dude? It didn't happen like super deep in. I can always just play when it's fixed, then I'd be surprised if they didn't fix it. Who knows how long it's going to take, though? You'd think after putting out Sekiro, which is supposed to be a decent PC port, that this wouldn't be so fucked. I don't know why they're so inconsistent about PC ports at from. Somewhere to like turn off the well. Okay, I guess we just needed to move close enough directly in front of it. I mean, I'm fine exploring the place to find that on my own, but the game sets you up to think it's going to tell you where to go, so I mean, you're just going to assume so. Oh, and of course, I was already over here checking this out. <laughs> Why not just let me do it then? It's even worse. Alert. Critical flooding detected. Automatic drainage controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. Let me guess I've been to both of those. purge and drain all the water. I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. This area is actually pretty cool, yeah. I mean, just music and visuals. The objective waypoints have been kind of shitty. I wish there were, just was none. That would have already been done. <laughs> but overall, I mean, obviously, not nah, Kino. More machines down here. Swim around them. It's funny, I just went around. I've already been through all of this in reverse. There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. Very bizarre. Waypointing. Rather yeah, just not have waypoints.
one node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Probably just crank story today. Chance of getting all the new the map. I want to be ready to be able to finish this. this the map. The second node should be on the other side of the door. Well, now the music done. That's just like fucking Jaws music. What happened to the cool music from? Gotta have the action spooky music. I need to be told how to feel with music. Can't we're underwater. You're stupid. Another access point. Should get me to the second node. I guess. Wow. It's full of personality on it. I love it. Loving that witty sarcasm. <clears throat> I won't budge. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. The debris. The Debris. I see. Hey. Let's see if that helps. Mr. SMG, thank you very much. Son of a bitch. Hope you're doing well, man. I'm looking extra okay. blue today. I mean, I guess my units. screen's super blue. That's now we why. just need to activate the emergency purge to the maintenance station. Back we go. Thank you again, man. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the door. this cover um i mean it's all right it's just kind of more of the same dude and while i don't think it's objectively like a bad game it's it's a very sterile bland game that i feel like we've been playing since assassin's creed one i feel like i've already played it a few times this year with pokemon and the other open worlds it's got some great visuals um I don't think it's the most creative visually. This area is actually pretty cool though. But it looks, on a technical level, really nice. But I don't know. Just a lot of the systems 
the crafting, the focus on more waypoint open world instead of kind of visual adventure, the combat being about the same as the first one, the story being feeling like it's written by lizard men <laughs> with all of its hundreds of quirky characters. Like a lot of that just kind of. It misses me, but I don't think it's like bad. I did a lot of side stuff in the beginning, but I've kind of been glossing over it now. We'll see. I think the side content's been pretty decent, but there's a chance I get Elden Ring tomorrow and I don't know how much I'm gonna wanna sit on this if I get Elden Ring. So I'm going to try to get near the end of the story today, and then if I don't get that tomorrow, we'll just scroll through side content this weekend. And I'm kind of split, like, should I call a game bad because it's extremely unambitious and, like, mass appeal and, like, like, focus tested kind of vibes, right? Like, just very, very bland and safe. Yeah. Because, I mean, Horizon 1 was good because it was a polished version of something you're familiar with, but that kind of flew better five years ago. Now it's the same thing, and it's like, damn, dude, I feel like we get one of these games every month. And I guess I'm just kind of wanting a little bit more, a little bit more from the industry. The amount of money that goes into these things, I'd prefer something more ambitious and something this safe. And I don't know. It's also like... I, I guess I don't mind games being very similar to each other. It's just a genre that I think probably could have used some upgrades way back when. And that it is so similar to each other open world game. Down to the fucking tier, like the perks, to the fucking stealth, to everything else. It's not just like, okay, it's similar, but it's with a twist, right? Like with a platformer or something. It is like really fucking similar. <laughs> Only the dinos really... And I guess, uh, you know, what kind of graphics they're whipping out really feels very different. More of the same, yeah. Which would be fine if Horizon wasn't exactly, you know, wasn't really similar to Assassin's Creed or like a Far Cry or like Pokemon. Or, I think they bar, I think this genre has been kind of played out a bit. And I think the idea of trying to make a really good open world game is awesome, but I feel like it's stagnated for safe sales. It is very long too. I think if there was one thing in this game that was just really awesome, I could forgive it probably for being um, the exact same game that a lot of Western AAA studios have been pumping out for eons now. But the problem is, other than the visuals and I would say the uh, high variety of dinosaurs, there's really nothing that really excels at. Yeah, I definitely think the game could do with a bit more visual storytelling and exploration of like some kind of theme or like just maybe even just ruins or the mystery i think that's another problem with the story is that the first game it was the first time you're in the setting and even if you don't think it's like you know you think it's just like some young adult sci-fi at least at that point it was kind of fresh <laughs> you know it was, it, it was the first time its own world was introduced to us in this game we know exactly what happened everybody we know exactly uh, all the mysteries of the world are kind of not there anymore it's kind of just these like story beats they kind of force feed in and like i don't want to say retcon but like <laughs> make use of weird um oddities in the first game to make it's kind of like a story work and it's just not as engaging on that front which would be fine if the characters were good but the characters are just i mean i think alloy is super boring which sucks because the game's like 50% dialogue, so you always have this like extremely dull character bouncing off of people. I don't know. Like, I don't hate playing it or anything. It's not... Like, I like it better than Arceus, I guess. But... 
It's just someone who just plays a lot of stuff. And not in like a, hey, I'm really cool, I play a lot of video games way. But like, realistically, like, I just play a lot of stuff. Something that tries a little harder than just copy-pasting. What we've been, uh, playing the last 15 plus years would be... I, I just kind of want a little bit more than that. Kind of getting old at this point. That's why it's hard for me to say objectively it's bad, because a lot of the reason I dislike it is because of when it's placed in the industry, right? Like, if this game released 10 years ago, or maybe 10 years from now, maybe it wouldn't seem as bad, but... Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. I mean, the game has to constantly make you feel like you're attached to the narrative by having her never stop talking. It also affects gameplay. <laughs> Look, when I say it's a little better than Arceus, I thought Arceus was really bad. <laughs> so that's a pretty low bar. I don't like it, so it's bad. It's simple as. <laughs> yeah. Fuck critiquing. Fuck trying to break it down. I need to take the Giga Chad pill and just say I don't like it and not explain myself. I'll just burp and laugh and fart on stream, and then that'll be it from now on. <laughs> Please enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, I think Arceus is, is much worse. It copies a lot of the same types of things, but somehow makes it... Somehow puts it in the shell of, yeah, like a fucking GameCube game, and it's just so, like, fundamentally lackluster in so many ways. Not even just the fucking visuals, just mechanically and stuff that... Well, it's just, it's just worse for sure, but... I don't want to get into... I mean, we, I could get into it, but... We'll be here for another fucking hour of me ranting about Pokemon. <laughs> I stopped myself. But a Pokemon has a borrows a lot of similar elements of uh, uh, Western open world games. The non-stop picking up of items on the ground and the crafting. Bush stealth. One button bush stealth. Very limited. Very basic. A heavy amount of dialogue. Stuff like that. Open world was not a really whole lot going on. A lot of kind of filler and stuff. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, it's understandable. People were praising that. And I mean, it it's not objectively wrong. People are like, you know, they're in here, they're like, you know, I praise the direction it's going. And it's like, yeah. But yeah, when you relate it back to the entire industry... You know, it feels kind of hollow to praise Pokemon for being as good as something that released, yeah, like a decade ago. <laughs> you know? Like, that shows how far behind I feel like the, the series was before. And it's like this game. I just, you know, there could they could do so much more. Pokemon is such a, like, a cool franchise that could have so much, such a cool, just breathing, just interesting, alive world. And they have enough money to do anything they want. And still keep probably that core simplicity of gameplay to a certain extent and like the Pokemon designs, but they just don't, dude. And I feel like unlike this, where it's by design and it's to be very safe and appeal to as many people as possible. I mean this game's even rated T, right? And this is the kind of setting that probably if you wanted it to have some teeth would not be rated T. Um but with Pokemon, it's just incompetency, dude. <laughs> like, maybe partially by design, but partially just incompetency. I just don't think Game Freak can do good stuff anymore. I, I would, I'd give it to Bando Namkai or something at that point. I mean, at least, the, at least Pokemon Snap was really good. I mean, I don't fault people for enjoying anything. Yes, if certain people enjoy things in large enough numbers, you're going to get those things, so I guess it's bad in a way, but... At the end of the day, who cares? But yeah, personally, I was. I did not like it. <laughs> I thought it was really bad. I mean, I finished it. I'm gonna finish this. This is the coolest part of the game so far. Looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. Because it actually has, like, some interesting visuals. I feel like pretty solid OST. I mean, she won't shut the fuck up, and uh, 
the guidance has been really bad. And the swimming's not that fun, but I mean, it's still at least is enthralling compared to a lot of the other stuff. Maybe it's just the novelty, because the rest of the game's not all the same. I get some like 2049 vibes. Helps that we're in a flooded Las Vegas with a lot of holograms. A lot of holograms in a desert Las Vegas was 2049. <laughs> Yeah, which is understandable, man. I mean, I might not 100% this like I normally would with a lot of these because of Elden Ring, so there might be some casualty on this. I just feel bad about uh, talking about a game too much when I haven't explored it enough. I'm going to try to explore every activity to like a good extent, but... We have a lot of games to play. I think throwing another like 40 hours into this... I don't, I don't know if much is going to change. Like, maybe a few side quests could change my mind slightly on some stuff, but I would love that. But we're pretty, I mean, I'm 30 plus 40 hours in. So we'll see. Yeah, I've seen some leaks for Destiny. I won't, I won't talk about it, but. Curious how all that ends up. Especially now that they've gotten bought by uh, Sony for, what was it, a few billion? Was it billion? It was a big number, it wasn't millions. <laughs> that would have been billion. I don't think it's worth a trillion, so <laughs> it's probably billions. That was like three point something billion, maybe. I haven't read the news story in like a month now, but... Yeah, I think I think your distance with this game is really gonna just depend on how much you're kind of sick of this this genre. If you're like a, I love the Assassin's Creed every year kind of guy, and I play Far Cry every year, and it's I'm fine with more of the same as comfy, then I, I think this game will be fine. But yeah, I think if you're looking for some more varied experiences, or you're not really as impressed with graphics. Um, I think this one leaves a lot to... It's wanting... So far. about the cool stuff I guess now we get to hear her talk even more oh that did it <laughs> okay yeah, it's still with that machine cool. guarding the door on the other end of the dome and once I get past it I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door yeah I know I guess the perch didn't get rid of all of the water And if you like your character telling what you did, <laughs> what you need to think and what you need to do every two seconds, you're definitely gonna love this one. This is a cool bit. <clears throat> In place of having like <clears throat> actually like an enthralling story or more interesting gameplay, I think if you're gonna use a familiar world like this, you might as well just throw insane budget at maybe art direction or just creative areas. Which they haven't, really. This is about as creative as it's gotten. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely more beating you over the head with it, but I could see the comparison for sure. It's mostly really bad in the story. Side quests, not so much. You will 
very like she will guide you, but I think they have very little faith in the player or in their visual design to like guide people. I don't think I have much faith in their writing either, but it's very uh Let's see if I them. Deal with a big one first. Could use shock ammo against that machine. You know, like I, I I don't know. I think it's part they don't have faith in the player, and part they want it to feel like you're constantly connected to Ally in the story by just having her be chatty. But the problem is, when you're exploring an environment and the soundtrack's going, you kind of want that to soak in. You kind of want the player to like kind of get into it and kind of choose where they want to go and how they want to do stuff. But like when she chimes in every two seconds, I feel like some of that immersion and agency is just gone. I mean, it's worse than like horror games, but. I think the medium is probably the worst I've ever seen of it. Let me get really better here. Stealth areas. <clears throat> Great looking game though, and there is a variety of environments. It's just a lot better looking versions of what you'd expect, like a forest or a desert or a mountain. And then they throw a few robotic pieces in there. It's not like truly a. Uh... something just totally different or at least framing those similar areas in like an interesting way all right so i need to leave the gullet don't touch the gullet otherwise i can touch whatever i want apparently i'm stuck underwater i'm not giving up Also, playing a third-person shooter on the fucking controller gets old, man. <laughs> Especially this game, because it's all about making really accurate pot shots at, like, uh... Key areas. So it's about how much you can abuse gratuitous amounts of slow Which, I mean, is still fun, but... Yeah, they've definitely upped the number of robots. And they're a lot more creative. I, I gotta give them props on that for sure. At the end of the day, you still kind of fight them the same fucking way. Hey, I play how you want. For me, that that fe that feeling of control and precision—it's hard to go back to. I mean, I, of course, I still play stuff with controller. That's a shooter, and there are games I feel like are made for it better, like our the Resident Evil. Like four and five and six and shit. Then they do what you want. <laughs> That's just me. Cause I know I could play better personally. That's a cute people. I prefer controllers as a means of playing games. They're far more comfy. I don't feel like keyboards were ever made to actually play games in the first place. <laughs> the ergonomics of it and everything is kind of not perfect, but I mean, there's just a lot of buttons and control. I like a gyro, a gyro shooting. I like that. It's not super comfy, but it's very accurate. It's like Splatoon and shit. I 
know a lot of people use controllers for shooting on PC. I think Zigbee like does in here, yeah, a lot of people. I wish I had the choice on console, like I could have a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> Cutscenes are just really loud. One of those games where the, the cutscenes are twice as loud as the rest of the game. Like, literally. I'd say it's actually about two thirds louder when I compare it on my mixer. If you're just going off ambience and music. Louder is more drama, I guess. More action. You didn't miss it, yeah. It's a miracle. Oh god. Oh, oh. This this part was mainly good, despite Ally talking a lot, because there was no NPCs for like a solid forty minutes. I don't hate these guys, but they are just another quirky group of fucking wackos. But I wish this game would let the atmosphere do the talking more. Let you explore places and let the stories be told more visually. Like, you find things and see, like, as you move through an area, things change or you unfold more stuff. Not just through, like, logs, but, I mean, you know. Like, took a backseat on just raw fucking NPC dialogue because the dialogue's really not that good. And the world is much more what people play this for. I don't think they explore it enough. It's always about some kind of tribal politics or some shit. These guys are a little different. But they have the quirk problem. Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. The scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast. They knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. His unique pieces. There's his tail, right? I'm always focused on trying to like break parts. Should hit that tail. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Like the spectacle of the bosses is just really good. But... You do just kind of spam heals in this game now. <laughs> it's really not super methodical. Or this is very dodge spammy, heal spammy. Because you're just constantly getting hit by shit. Or how big is your fucking healing pack on hard mode? There's really not much in the way of cover or like re stealthing either. It's much more focused on the enemies just looking fancy than really being like. Super interesting to film. Kind of get bored. Like I wasn't even like in that one. I still get hit. I need to take care of that. That thing did a lot of damage, dude. Auto aim is atrocious too. I really should turn it off. <laughs> I'm actually gonna try to turn it off. Can I? Because I'm kind of tired of it. Let's see what it's like. Oh, you can do motion aiming. I don't know if it's good on PS4 Gyro, but. Cause the problem with the auto aim is it kind of goes for like whatever part it thinks you want and what part you th it thinks you want is not usually what you actually want. Yeah, see I can predict where it's going to be and shit a lot easier with that auto aim. I'm very low on heals already. I can probably whip out the uh, Bridgewater Cannons. These small parts, though, you probably want out of it. The big parts. This part's just really hard to hit no matter what. At least there's like big things going. Every enemy makes a shitload too. <clears throat> Small parts are very hard to so. that. Actually grab his tail. I've had plenty of boss fights where they don't let you loot afterwards. Yeah, this is much better. Those are really hard to hit. I think we should just go for damage. Safe response. I don't think we need to worry about removing more of his offense. This one's pretty easy to dodge already. Let's see if we haven't missed anything on the ground. Something like right next to him. Down it goes. Aloy. <laughs> you did it. Okay, that just let me reload it right after. Thank God. That one was cute. 
Once you get rid of the spinny thing, though, it's pretty much over. Get a few hits in on the uh, title fin is good. Man, I should have turned off aim assist earlier. Trying to do like really tight shots with the aim assist fighting against you just doesn't work, dude. Talk to the crew optional. Poseidon should be somewhere beyond the store. Time to bring it home. <laughs> I feel like I'm disrespecting the game by skipping the conversation. Which is more trashy. I feel like I, I don't have as good a ground to stand on if I'm just gonna actively <laughs> skip shit. This area was good though. I would say I like this overall. I think the last one's story wasn't horrible in its characters either. Not amazing, but the rest of it was kind of boring, gameplay wise. I mean, the mammoth was cool, but. This wasn't as bogged down by like a bunch of ads and. <clears throat> it wasn't as tanky. The mammoth was like pointlessly tanky. Elizabeth Sobek. <clears throat> Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Yeah, it might that's the problem. Okay. The optional dialogue might be everything. Bring this back to Gaia. <laughs> I wonder if we can still have it. It's gonna be such well written dialogue. Gonna make me regret my words and deeds. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. They were saving all their writing chops just for that conversation with the quirker, quirks, quirks, quirksters. All the embers they could carry, I bet. Whew, well, keep me awake. This looks pretty cool. This game has an insane amount of bloom. You're like an anti-bloom person. This game is like drenched in bloom, dude. <clears throat> From the enemies to the UI when you're getting hurt to everything. <laughs> yeah, I missed it, dude. I'm not allowed to talk bad about the game when I don't see every bit of content. I, mean, I assume it's going to be a lot of, wow, we sure did that, and then the guy says something like a narrator would, and then the other guy's like, oh, I'm sorry for being an asshole, and then the other guy's like, wow, it's just how my grandpa wanted it. This looks straight out of 2049, dude. And you can't tell me it does it. The, like, orange-drenched fucking desert Las Vegas thing going on. It's aesthetic. I'd just be surprised if it didn't take any inspiration from it. from the movie. Yeah, Harrison Ford and the Goose, dude. Where's the fucking goose? If I was playing the goose and not fucking Alloy, that would be alright actually. An elevator. Mom must have built this before the place flooded. Might still work. Be nice not to have to climb back up.
Whatever she did, it must have power. They're gonna make us talk to him anyways, right? Oh. oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. Yeah, that's, there it is. I mean, it's really just... <laughs> the conversation I predict <laughs> happened a little, little later than I expected. What was the other one just gonna be about, like, grabbing the focuses or whatever the fuck? And <laughs> we did, we killed the thing. This much self reflection on the protagonist <laughs> completely ruined the whole idea of Soul's atmosphere. That, that would be funny. Maybe I should dodge left when he does the big sweep attack. Oh, this area is pretty gloomy. Better kick down that ladder. Maybe I can use my grab. Oh. <laughs> Goes. His old Gramps legacy ensured. Another guy on the right just needs to apologize for his words and deeds. And wept at his good fortune. We'll see. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. That might have been the optional conversation. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Walks into a marsh. Oh, my boots are full of gunk. She every time you go in water, she says, "No matter boots or how refreshing it is." I'm not careful. These dart throwers are gonna poison me. <laughs> and now I have to move on. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, they have to sarcastically be like, "Huh? I bet this one has, yeah." There's no way he's dead. This one probably has a second form or some shit like that. Come back when you can. Wouldn't that just really just sell the atmosphere? I'd be so attached to the story, man. Big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Emperors back in the claim. Oh no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land. Plus some food and a nice place to stay not to mention a variety of entertainment venues yeah, don't forget games of chance plenty of shards to be had there for certain <laughs> a new dream huh i am um, i hope you make it happen goodbye gentlemen <laughs> The dude on the left is just a manager, too, but it's like he's practiced with them. He's just a money guy. Only the two on the right are performers, dude. Yeah, they might as well have just fucking licked your boots when they're at him. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. At least the visuals are nice here, man. I don't hate the tunes. Although neons are on screen, we have to have sense. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that awesome pretty cool, yeah. who's out on her own first. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Oh my god, she's talking get those so deep much. Sites I found earlier. Wow. These are all the things you could go do. These are the things that this mask can let you do. Thank god. Thanks for reminding me. Like, no faith in the player, right? All those places that I could dive into water, now I could do that. I should try these side quests. They do that multiple times throughout the whole game. Like, if you've just forgotten about the content in the game. I should probably do the cauldron. Oh, we'll turn this in first. Yeah, that area would have had a lot more impact if there was just no dialogue. <clears throat> if you went through, like, a desert city and then found your way to the elevator shaft, 
found a mask or found a way to like make a mask and then went down into this whole underwater dome where you had to like fight a boss and like drain it and then you come back up and it's all fixed and you got the, the yeah, i think imagine that with all no doubt it would have been so much more like like a mystery like you were on full you know you're finding it yourself your own you know the huge secret crazy area underneath and the adventure of it but instead there's just constant talking and narrative and they tell you what's down there all the time and <clears throat> they turned it into a story arc for a bunch of characters that aren't even that good. I feel like that's the the big difference on something like this and something that's more about visual storytelling or just like atmosphere. Yeah, exactly. They need to let you feel adventure, right? Like it's about wanting to see something. It's about wanting to like get lost yeah, in the world. And just do what you would maybe do, like, in reality, or something, right? Like, you could just go out and adventure. <clears throat> I feel like the Skyrim shit at the top of the screen, the constant points, the non-stop narrative to push you in a direction, like, having a little bit to get you going, to point you maybe, is fine, but, like, there's a point where it just ruins the feeling of, like, an adventure. And I mean, if they just, they don't really care about, like, that feeling of adventure. That's the thing, though, like, that's an open world game, though, right? I mean, that's, like, a big deal to it, is <laughs> why even have an open world game if it's not about exploring and adventuring? I mean, I guess maybe they, maybe you'd argue that it's just about light RPG mechanics, set pieces, and then, like, showing off graphics. But, I mean, it's just such a hollow feeling compared to something like, you know. A tr some true adventure and you could still have all those things and still like tone down the narrative to make it feel like you're uncovering something yourself i don't know the player agency and how you let them adventure and the kind of information you give them is a big deal it's why people like stuff like breath of the wild despite any faults it might have because at the end of the day it's about you parsing info and deciding you want to go somewhere and kind of just being, you know, caught up in the world yourself and wanting to explore it instead of like being led by the hand everywhere. Yeah, exactly. I, I, exactly. I think Breath of the Wild's a very great example of like actually <clears throat> giving you the adventure feel. Makes it fun to move around, things stand out. It doesn't overload you with guidance. It's more about you just doing what you want. Yeah, it's, fine. I can it's good. It. Stuff like Subnautica, I think, yeah. does it well. It a few times adventure and a bunch of systems in place to feed adventure, right? I mean, you could say, like, there's all, you know, different older types of games that do that, too. But, uh, in terms of just, like, yeah, big open worlds. I mean, like, Outer Wilds, you could say, is that way. It pushes, I feel like, puzzle in a bit more than, like, these kinds of Outer Worlds do. Or these, uh, <laughs> open world games do, but it's a feeling of, like, wonder and, like, taking things how you want and figuring things out and... <clears throat> kind of similar. Not really like a journey feeling like Breath of the Wild, but... That's another thing, uh, I feel like that difference between this and maybe say something like Breath of the Wild, right? Is the ways you can, like, tackle a problem in this are extremely limited. And in something that's supposed to be open and huge, like an, uh, like an open world, I feel like... Um, being able to have that kind of player choice how to tackle something would be nice because i mean in breath of the wild there's a lot of like emergent gameplay and stuff right like i said it yesterday lightning can like you know be uh, like start you know you know um, charging up onto your bow or something from like a storm and then you could shoot it and then it'll like start a fire and then you could jump into the fire and like fly up in the air and then you could hit something. And there's a lot of things that just kind of like work together. So if you want to be creative, 
or if you just want to go climb something or if you want to go fly to something or how you want to like tackle the world in some of the situations it's a lot more open to creativity you could stealth ship it's not a deep system and i would never say the combat in it is deep but what it tries to do <laughs> with with the player choice and more like horizontal like more variety i think it's a lot more interesting than this this game you just get asked loads of different moves you get asked loads of different uh you know elements and stuff but at the end of the day it's it's all just about shooting weak points. Maybe you'll set a few traps, but it's different flavors of just third-person shooting. And there's not many other ways to handle anything. <laughs> and I don't think that's, like, inherently wrong. I mean, you could take, like, Souls or something, right? I mean, at the end of the day, Souls technically has, like, simple combat. Lots of build variety. But it's kind of about the challenges that it throws at you in the presentation that make up for that kind of thing. Also, I think people don't give enough souls credit Looks for like some of the holograms <laughs> are working now. Methodical combat, slower paced combat, and it being expertly executed is actually very rewarding. For combat like this where it's kinda of just like really floaty and warpy and you just spam heals and all that can be in not as, uh, even though it looks like there's more going on, it can be not as rewarding. <clears throat> yeah, I think Metal Gear Solid Five was, uh, had great gameplay. I think Metal Gear Solid Five is fucked, but I think the gameplay, the kit that you could use to tackle, yeah, like a, like a camp or something was really cool. I would say it had the best gameplay in any Metal Gear. I think Peace Walker was good too. It just sucked everywhere else, right? And it didn't help that the levels weren't that interesting after a bit. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's just something that's... Uh, it's it's cool to do in open world games. Or it's at least something that doesn't happen as often as it should. I think it's more important in exploration, but how to actually just tackle an issue. I think it's also something that people should try more. Because in this game you technically have stealth, but this is this is stealth. Tall grass, walking around, R1, you don't even insta-kill anything, and you can throw rocks. So there's nothing else to it. And it's the same old shit that's been in like every other year. Um, big games. Stealth repertoire. It doesn't work in a cute way with anything else. There's no systems, like, stacking together. <laughs> there's no emerging gameplay, I mean. Like, there's different ways you could take your perks. So there's a... You could say there's some player choice here. At the end of the day, none of this is, like, massive. They're, like, big passes, a few extra moves. It's just kind of what flavor of, like, shooting you want to do. I don't know. I don't think that's fundamentally wrong. But that's kind of what I mean, is, like, it's just the same old shit. It would be cool that I have something like MGS5 or, like, Breath of the Wild. That tries to be a bit more horizontal, Aloy. lateral, in the chest. whatever the word is with its thinking. Kojima lore? <clears throat> yeah, Kojima's... I don't even think Kojima knows about his own lore. His ego is so inflated, I'm surprised he's not floating in the fucking Pluto by now. <laughs> This shit's always entertaining, but yeah, I think his stuff's gotten entertaining for the wrong reasons <laughs> lately. I'm just five had problems beyond story though. I still think Ground Zeroes had better level design than anything in the main game. I didn't like the grindy like last third of the game and disjointed story that you got rewarded with. I think visually it kinda got dull. Will it look really crisp? It's not a bad, bad game. <clears throat> I think Kojimbo just gets too, uh, a little too much credit for how his games are these days. <clears throat> At least with Death Stranding, I can respect that he went for something more creative using a AAA budget, but <laughs> that game's got a lot of issues too. But I would take MGS5 over this, man. I think this is probably a better game. But MGS5 had a bit more 
bit more soul, a bit more charm. There's at least enough wacky bullshit with Kojimbles that kept it interesting enough. I feel like you're going through the motions in this game too much. I'm talking in circles, but yeah. I agree with you. And that's the thing, there's just a lot of like... There's a lot of room there for that kind of like... Those kinds of different ways to tackle things, or... Different kinds of gameplay in an open world, or... Just more creative, more interesting stuff. I just think this is just... Doesn't really try that much. Sorry about that. Quick little break. Alright. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Drone's reconnected now. Downstairs. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy. I have managed to unlock additional room. Got it. I was really hoping we'd fall to the ground again today. Yesterday I just kind of, I don't know if I clipped it, I forgot to myself. But, um, I was just walking out of that room and I just fell through the ground. Just fell and then it loaded me into something else and then I just kept falling in the outside world. That was really funny. How many of these are so boring? Like, wow, my food lasts longer. Really fucking cool stuff, man. Go for melee damage. I occasionally smack something with melee once or twice. Like, I'm not saying that every... I'm definitely not saying every game needs to have, you know, a shitload of options. You can have a really tight kit. Feels really good, like Sekiro or something, right? But... I think it's definitely something worth exploring, and especially in an open world game. 
<clears throat> I think it's just most important for Hi. actual exploration. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. Okay. Who's this? You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda, you saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Trinity? Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proven Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Oh. Fine. What else I can can't skip all the side dialogue, man. She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever... Talk about her life on Earth, how she joined the Zeniths, something like that. She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. Nothing of the dialogue. It's every dialogue option is just a question. Except the one that you need to move forwards. It's all just questions to get more information. And while the information might not be uninteresting, the format definitely gets old. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it makes sense in a story or in gameplay to have just a shitload of questions. But it's every new character, every character you meet, you have like a a wheel of like ten questions, right? I think it's formulaic. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher, instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her <clears throat> home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. She still has that piece of skin that juts out of her, her right shoulder. A visual glitch. When she sits down, I'm surprised nobody so caught that. It's like really virtual space obvious. Looked like a house with an ocean view. I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls. 
occupying outside. Inside, I mean, Tim skin is just like this triangle. Like, look at it, just, just sticks out. <laughs> Something. Ed showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so oh, yeah, many. there's two of Judd now. Does that interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. Good old ally, man. Making friends here. Yeah, that's great. It's cool that you were growing in a lab and you never had to meet anybody, but you found something you liked finally. But, you know, just fuck you. Give me the information. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. I feel like they try to make her seem really unhinged, because everybody tries to be really uh, distant from her, and Ally just doesn't want to deal with her, and so she kind of regrets saving her earlier. But she's not even, like, that unhinged. And you can empathize more with her than even, like, Ally. <laughs> so it's really odd. You can see probably what they're trying to do, but it just doesn't really quite work out. They prayed to a door in the first one? Yeah, I remember that. It's pretty much every tribe in this game. They all have their little... religious quirk. These guys believe in holograms. These guys pray to... A robot. This group prays to something or other. They, de they definitely don't mix it up in this one. Not quite a door, but uh, <laughs> at least at that point it was kind of interesting. Now it's kind of gotten old. Was it the first group, her group, that was uh, praying to the door? I don't remember. What's wrong? I'm trying. There was like a sacred area, like a big door. I don't know if that was it. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean,. It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Why does nobody have the nuts to tell her she's kind of a bitch? How's this guy be like, there's no point alienating her, she might be useful, though. 
And she's clearly had a rough time of a... Another victim. Well, whatever, dude. She's like, I can enjoy playing as this character. I mean, playing as somebody who's an asshole is not, like, inherently wrong either, but she's not, like, a fun asshole. They're not really, like, examining the character of, of being, like, an asshole. She's just kind of a bitch sometimes, and then other times they just don't really dig into it at all. Like, I get what they're trying to do here. They've been doing it a little bit all game. Where she's got the weight of the world on her shoulders. And only she thinks only she can do it. Because everybody's been saying only she can do it. So she alienates people. But it's like... It's holding such a... Such a fucking weak way, man. It's, it's not an interesting arc. I mean, she's just gonna end up trusting people... A lot more than she already, she already does because she's creating this theme and stuff. But like, <laughs> that's what I mean. It's not even, it doesn't even go like full, like whole horse onto it, but whatever. Anyways, they'll fucking dig into it even harder, I'm sure. Who fucking knows, man? Let's hope this next one's interesting. I get my hopes up. That last one was decent. It was also shorter. I mean, overall, I would say that was like two hours long. I think I spent like an hour, maybe two max on it last night. The other one was like all day. Well, not all day, but it was, it was a good chunk. But they've all had set pieces and shit that were interesting. Right? They don't have like this Coliseum and shit. We'll see on this one. No lighting, soldier. Come. Train. Oh, wait. No, I won't. even look like man. take a while to pop up man. The climb. Welcome, Orca. We will take the fight to Regal, Outlander. Like, I mean, look at it. It looks great. I mean, even just the, the use of elevation and stuff, it looks really nice. It's not just like a flat area. You're in like a valley and canyons and. This is on a base PS4 too, but I mean raw technical <laughs> graphic quality is definitely something that you can respect the amount of work and everything that's gone into it, but I don't know. Uh, a lot of times I find it a more hollow feeling than something that's just like creatively more interesting in art direction, even if it looks like texture wise and shit, detail wise shit here. 
There's only so many times you can see like a forest or something remade with better and better graphics. Not like it really, really has some diminishing returns, right? I mean, this don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a visually very impressive, and it runs pretty damn well on PS4. But... Like just the speed of it, and the amount of narrative and stuff. I got some juice in here. I just you don't get lost in it. You're just passing through it. You're just looking at a, a nice little PowerPoint as you go, and it looks nice, but that's kind of the end of it. I'm not like, ooh, you know, what's going on over in this area? And, oh, I wonder what's going to be over here. Like, no, I have a waypoint. I'm running straight to it <laughs> every time. And, like, you could make the game more about, like, walking around and seeing stuff, but the visuals are not set up to have that kind of exploration. And I feel like having to, like, fuck with the game, turn off a bunch of crazy settings or mod it or something to get a similar experience, it's just, it's not the point, right? This is the game everybody's playing. The, the way, this way. Hell, the only other, oh, this is on explorer mode. There's another mode that they offer you right at the beginning. They don't tell you which one is even like the intended experience. And I think that one literally has a like fucking GPS on the floor as you go. Could be wrong on that, but uh, it's guided is what it's called. And it's like how boring, right? So this is side content. It seemed interesting, like climb something. There's like a little pocket over here for the quest. Could be neat. Be careful not to let this stain my hands. Yeah, it's so immersive when she says that after the thousandth time, right? Most look it's so natural, because I just happened? repeat myself every few hours with the exact same line. That person looks like they're in I guess I do repeat myself. <laughs> you know what I mean. I should talk to them. Wallbreaker, if you've come to witness the March of the Ten, you're out of luck. Actually, I came looking for someone called Pento. Pento? That poor scab was as good as dead even before the storm hit. You're out of line, soldier. What's he talking about? The kid you're looking for is still up on the this mountain. This guy's really Along feels like he's others. got a lot of authority here. Who decided to break tradition and climb without a partner. His odds aren't good. I'm sorry to say they never were to begin with. As far as being Tanak goes, he's got most of it backwards. So what? You're all just waiting here? Shouldn't you be calling for help? Couldn't find anyone in that storm, even if we wanted to. Those kids are at the mercy of the mountain now. We'll see about that. But first, a couple of questions. Uh huh. No questions. Every person we meet, dude. I could try following the path of no? the mountain. See if I can find Penta. You said there were two other climbers missing as well. Just one. The other is right there. Zika. Rocco and I. We were climbing back down. There was an avalanche where we got separated. I... I couldn't see anything. Someone's got to go up there. You can barely see your own feet in that storm. Except I don't need to. Whoa. I'll be back. What a badass. If the storm gets too rough, I can always use my focus to find those climbers. I should follow the markers. They'll lead me to the start. The one that got away. Uh, full, but my the birds will be more annoying without aim assist because they actually kind of like prep the uh, you know, like auto shoot kind of a uh, auto lead it. That's alright. 
ancient sculpture. Workers, I'm on the right track. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. That Tanakh needs help. What's good on the stalker? Stealth generator. Like underneath him? Aside? Hmm. Ah! Guess those just blow up on their own. Should throw some upgrades and getting more movement when I use these or more damage. Heavy weapons. Where's like the movement one? The heavy weapons damage is just kind of in every tree. I guess they couldn't figure out where to put it. This one has a heavy uh, movement. We're looking for like a boot. in here. Oh, yeah, it's... The damage ones are everywhere, but the movement ones are not. You okay? Not really, but I'll live. Your climbing partner, she said you got separated during an avalanche? My partner? Yeah, the avalanche caught us off guard. Swept me up like a twig. I was sure I was a goner. Then someone grabbed hold of me and pulled me out. It was Penta. He risked his life for me. Did you see where he went? Up that cliff behind you. Said he was gonna finish the climb. I told him it was suicide, but he wouldn't listen. Can you make it back down on your own? Yes. You're not going after him, are you? 
go. Get back to Wakata before the storm gets any worse. May the Ten be with you. The Ten. He saunters off. I have to find Pento before he gets himself killed. The nine. What about the twelve, dude? I should use my foot. <laughs> That's Final Fantasy fourteen. The nine from Destiny, or the uh, was it the eight from Oblivion? How many were there? There was a group called the eight or something. Is it the, are they the ten as well? I think it was the nine. By the nine. Yeah, the nine divines, dude. By the nine. Nine, eight or nine. <laughs> it's always funny, yeah. But the Pantheon is just named after how many there are. Right? By the ten, the twelve, the nine, the eight. The one, the one, Lord. At least that's a little different. <laughs> yeah, I could do a lot more accurate pot shots now that I have Amos list off. Probably not a popular choice to turn Amos list off, but I like it. It's also more rewarding because I feel like I'm making my shots. Problem is, I'm a controller aiming. But... Not gonna have that super layer, like tight layer of uh, accuracy, but it's most of the time I'm just trying to wait until they stop moving from a good distance. I don't need to ever shoot on the run as hard. On the aim assist isn't like everything. Where are we going? Shock, she didn't tell me to do that. Maybe she did, and I didn't. Down to my bones. I didn't notice. Get out of my way. Let's hope that's Pento. How many others will there be at this point, dude? Looks like he could use some help. Who's there? A friend. Fucker out. I'm on another one, dude. That shit sucks. I'd have to upgrade it a bunch, probably. Got you right in the ass. Stash when I need it. Yeah. I think we've been playing long enough that we know, man. Uh -oh. 
gocce. Oh, stuff. I think you just sell it all, though. Legendary or not. Yeah, I feel like if you could just press one button on something and get all the loot, it'd be a little quicker. You end up spending a lot of time, just like, like minutes every fight. Penta? Running around a battle team. Wakata sent me. We need to get off this mountain, now. No. I'm not going back there as a failure. I am getting that flower no matter what. Look, I know what it's like when your tribe looks down on you, but you- Then you understand why I'm either gonna get to the top of this mountain or die on it. Thank you. What are you doing? This climb is meant to be done by two people, right? I'll be your partner. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Poor. Here, take this. He's got a lot of pride, like but here. he would prefer if uh, we take the lead for the sake of gameplay. You know my name, but I don't think I've caught yours. It's Aloy. You sure you want to involve yourself with the Bulwark's biggest loser, Aloy? I like to make my own judgments about people. You know, it's not like everyone can be born with a sword glued to their hand. What was that? Why is he so loud? Maybe it's just the wind. It's a dead end. There's a climbing spike left over from the original path. Not that it's of much use right now. Sorry. Yeah, thanks for telling me, dude. That was amazing! I'll knock this tree down! It should let us reach the climbing path! You won't hear me complaining! Because this tree would totally just... <laughs> That's a gamey thing. Don't know where that leads, but perfect, I'll wait till you're done. The tree that would not break at the middle and not fall off the side and it's perfectly good. That, that's... Like, that's just supposed to be, you know... Suspend your disbelief shit. So you can have these like fancy set pieces and jump, right? We should be able to jump onto that climbing path from the tree. Oops. Watch out! I pressed the wrong button there. Found something? gonna make it that's some climbing gear you've got thanks it's time to start You're climbing back. yeah i was thinking the we same thing i'm like if you could just mountain. like hook shot grapple your way everywhere then that doesn't sound like any it's like the tools are doing Almost more of the there. work than you are write a passage for your grappling hook this is it i can't believe we actually made it I hate this guy's voice. Rock That's long. a bear. I'll take you off. What you need. We can handle it. Come on. See, the side quests try to actually have like some stuff happen. They're just almost all story. Intact chill water. Okay. I need to not destroy his middle boat. Shoot that, there's not a whole lot else. Other than canisters, I guess.
I'm afraid that kid's gonna break the middle thing. Please craft. There's a hell of a shot, man. I gotta pick up the loot. Using the slide to dodge has been actually way better. I still started doing that today. And it looks cooler, man. Which matters a lot, of course. Nice radius, dude. Melee explosion does way, an unreal amount of damage. Wait up! It's good. <laughs> I mean, it's got its moments. Sometimes. How's Elden Ring been? Yeah, yeah, I remember the quote. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were saying that my my light praise here <laughs> was in the face of my quote. Uh, it might have been the first day, but yeah. Close, that's close enough. Huh? It maybe was yesterday. Days running together on this game, man. Is Elden Ring running well for you? Seems like that's been a big problem on PC. Should be another resource container. It's 
somewhere. Cool. Well, that's good on your end then. Stuttering, stutters, yeah. Oh. Uh, I think it's the second one. Stutters with the T's. Studs. Udders. Give me a couple stutters. Nice. Guess I'm not getting that. It's just a herb. An herb and a herb. Yeah, so I've been on a lot. Hell yeah. I assume it's been interesting, you know? Yeah, I haven't watched any. Only the network test and a bit of the Red Bull event. Saving the rest for... Possibly tomorrow. Oh, gotta get raid ready. Yeah. Duty calls, man. Make an interesting color for my armor. Cool if they felt like a checkpoint up here so we could come back when we wanted. Storm. It's using up. So, how does it feel to make rank? Pretty great, actually. This this means everything to me. Well, he gets you know, shot by a sniper. Even something. if you go back with that, it doesn't mean they'll treat you any different. Honestly, I think I just need to prove to myself I could do this. You should go back. Let the others know I'm okay. I'd like to take a moment, if you don't mind. I'll be right behind you. Of and he was never heard from again. I can probably reach the bottom of the trail faster if I use my shield wing. And get a nice view, too. They really not put like a point for you to like jump up here? That'd be really cool. Hell yeah, dude. Shit's got you hooked. I'm catching snowflakes on my lashes. I'm catching snowflakes on my lashes. Fucking care. I mean, this looks really nice. I actually gave a fuck about the story and the characters. Maybe it'd be... <laughs> I'd feel a little bit more than just, oh, hey, that's nice. It looks nice, and then just move on, you know? The world. Uh, oh, I guess we're jumping. The resource canister. What the fuck? That just like launched off of his body. Like the fog, just the the the. I don't say cascading, but you know the the ridged mountains here and shit. Looks great, man. this power of graphics went into something a little bit more of substance but hey man I could I could say 
one of the better looking games out there. I said that about Last of Us too, though. Right? I should be reaching the <laughs> that game's got all sorts of issues. Pento can't be far behind. There's everyone. Did you find Penta, Outlander? He got himself killed, didn't he? Uh, see, it's Don't like, see that. It just ruins the mood, and then you get to these fucking idiots Aloy, everywhere. You return oh, home. and it's daytime. Where is he? He's my brother. You can't go crying like that, Jekka. You're the sister of a proper soldier now. Bento! Ow! This dude's gonna I bring die. you the blood crest. In as pain. proof of my march. And with my blessing, you join our ranks. May you find your path on the wings of the town. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. Him? A soldier? Please. He's going to tell him flower off. Flower or no flower, we all know all he'll ever be good for is cleaning everyone's shit. <laughs> <laughs> headbutt? Really? He just headbutts him in the face, dude. I would just throw a fist, man. The headbutt's... <laughs> the dumbest way you could ever attack somebody. <laughs> Give yourself a fucking concussion, man. I think we're done here. Just nods a few hundred times. Better put some snow on that or it'll bruise. Thanks for saving my life. Maybe when I get my old soldier's mark, we can fight in the can same These spot. motherfuckers eat me a chance to return the favor. Couple steaks, dude. What is with their arms, man? His sister's arms are as big as him. Go on. I'll catch up. Here. Something to commemorate. This motherfucker's not gonna wrestle a robot, May the dude. Always grant you victory, Aloy. I'll see you around, Pento. He's dead. He's fucking gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, there's just being like, you know, like a skinny dude or something, and then there's being like, uh, like these guys gotta be malnourished, right? Like something, ain't right? That was a fun uh, gameplay and set piece wise. Let's say, let's run to the top, right? Where we can go from here north. I don't know. Next we want to actually do a little bit more side quests. So I will. Slim chance I even get Elden Ring tomorrow. But there's a chance. So we will focus story a bit more. Just so I at least am close to finishing. So if I could and then move to Elden, Elden Ring if I wanted to. But I'm feeling like doing a side quest. I don't want to like fight that feeling or something. I'd like to enjoy it if I'm feeling like I want to do something. I like artificially make the game seem shittier to me, to myself. It's just that if I'm sitting on Elden Ring, I'm not going to give a fuck about this. <laughs> I'm much more interested in Elden Ring. Why would the wound give less water? Huh? These rations barely get us through the day, Commander. <laughs> Our children are thirsty. Doesn't command have reserves? Good day, Chancellor. You wanted to speak to me? Exactly. The name's Zoka. I'll bet they're keeping the water for from themselves. From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Bereka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But with everyone fuming about our water rations, the commander can't spare any soldiers. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village. Find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. 
That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. Okay. I won't be doing that. Probably. There's somebody else I needed to talk. Oh, there. Talk to him after I find out what stores are here. It takes so long to get into these menus, I'd actually want to check every merchant, but... Always quick. Oh, epics. Now that's something I'm interested in. Sadly, it doesn't have the special arrow. I'll take it anyways. Are you looking to trade? It depends on what your level. How they populate these? Maybe not them. I go check the uh merchants for armor camp. Oh, nice. The background disappeared. Stalk they need three stalker stealth generators. Stormbirds, Apex, Ravager, Apex, Thunderjaw. Eesh. Dreadwing, Stormbird, Stalkers, Dreadwings, Rollerback, Stalkers. It's a lot of stuff. Oh wait, this is the fancy arrows, the advanced ones. Yeah, okay, never mind. Cool. The raw upgrade them. Oh, where's the armor person? Concentration, regen, and weapon stamina is fine. Valor surge isn't bad. But low health stuff is not. Not interesting. Even if I could get something better at a different merchant. There's gonna be to the west. There's probably legendary stuff too. Just do it to do it, but find this in my stash later. What does mine even have? Halo guns. 
actual Halo guns? Oh, okay. <laughs> Still. Place. Advanced alien looking guns? Who uses them? It's the enemies or hunters can put them on? Or... Huh. Interesting. Aliens, dude. They're here for us. Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water. The wound gives less water. Later, man. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert. What's stopping us from taking what we want? And now, uh... what's with all the headbutts? Anyone else want to complain? She headbutted him in the jaw. We're the desert clan. We survive with what we have. Their uh, commander's not much for handholding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Your commander's not much for Shall handholding. We? Can't wait. <laughs> She's with me. Drak is not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. Okay. Your reputation has grown since I saw you last. You took down the bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more miracle. Hold on, what do you need? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> nice bird. Is it tax or something? This is the outlander that bested Regala. And now she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the old ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive is completely dry. This water source, Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take it restores on its own, over time. A few weeks ago it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources. But everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. What are you actually doing about Regala? What's best for my people? Nothing. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way, so her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. 
I can't promise anything. But if this wound was built by the old ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. Follow another motherfucker around him. You're not Karja. Or Osara. I was born amongst the Nora. As far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. You get your ass down here. Sounds like a difficult path. Make sure to save your game at Phone Fight. Thanks. Yeah. This is it. The wound in the sand. Might as well Definitely open. built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or used to. How? It doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. Look. Machines. Once again, I need to get them out. They always die. Because they just get in fights with shit and they're just hanging around. Those scorpions are small, man. The crown's wet, too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. Paul not being a total dumbass. Sunwing. Sunwing shield caster. Hmm. Let's make use of these partners. Its wings look like they can catch the sunlight. Probably a fast flyer too. Boys move a lot, man. Here's some ammo. Don't waste it. Uh, 
It's hard to hit the part of the wing that's moving almost the most. There's one. Controller's insanely hard. Between the travel time on the shots and how much he moves, with the uh, <laughs> very rough amount of like fine tuning you could do with the stick. Trying to hit a very particular spot to get loot. I don't know why I'm actually not just killing the thing. <laughs> Going for like the dumbest spots. I need it in the future. Don't read it. I need it right now, I guess, but... I haven't fought him, so why not? It's always good to have extra. place where <laughs> aim assist would be better. Watch out quick. 
shooting guys in places you can't bridge. actually see. <laughs> We're gonna have to do some climbing. Chuck Walla. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. That's right. As long as I still can see him, I can predict. But... You can't, unless you tag. See for very long when you do your uh, special vision like this, and you can't shoot during it. That's a lot of machines. And a very dead soldier. Is it one of yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Follow my lead. Spikes now. Intact stamina drain sack. Looks like that machine stores fluid in its tail. I don't know what it does with it. The hippo. I think you just shoot him in the uh. That's right. I'm not expecting to get all the parts off these ones. Doing some damage now that I got a bit better bow. This for my stash later. You know him? 
that is one of Draka's men. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with... We don't know what happened here yet. And we still have a trail to follow. Lead the way. Check, I'm still on the pipe's trail with my focus. Water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams uh, in this That's area. quite a few licks. Which means... These anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open. But he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or ignorance. Maybe if I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful. Give her a yoink. Not sure why we couldn't just jump to that middle part or the part right underneath it, but whatever. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Just uh stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take that around. She can make it. Just make crazier jumps. Nope, you can't grab onto that. Okay. <laughs> so it was what I wanted then. Maybe just from a different angle here. It float on over. A valve. That might help. Stop leaking. So it looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. That's the same type of machinery we found outside. Only this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. Don't wait for her to stop talking. Yes. It's funny because the dialogue of the game gets <coughs> interrupted by itself all the time, but then it just randomly decides to like make her stop or make her finish her sentences here and there. Like that did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan worked. Shit's pretty rusted, bro. Like, <laughs> super rusted. That should do it. This will return water to Scolding Spear. Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water. But he didn't care! All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command! We don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the- Why is he- why was he up here though anyways? <laughs> it's not like he could follow this without the focus. Wound when you can. Please. I mean maybe he like somehow knew to follow it up here or his scouts found something with water? Then they just assumed? To make sure the water will flow. I will. We'll see him. Don't do anything rash. Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A 
commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Okay. Things are about to get ugly between... They are. Maybe I can head it off. I mean, Draka is worth holding on. can't climb these mountains. It's funny because you could climb those really, really tall mountains earlier. And they looked all nice at the top, but I guess they don't want you to do it anywhere else. Kangaroo. We can come back up here later. Let's finish this up. Not that I care much about this true. part. Yara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. I see soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. But no Yara. What's going on? I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. The water's coming back, slowly. It'll take a while for it to be full, but at least it's something. And now Drock has seen it too. Great. Look. Sell my this is your potions. opportunity to buy five. <clears throat> the better ones, though I've not really used them hardly at all. I'm 
goods, Outlander. Don't forget you have them when the heat of the battle. And they're really the small ones, probably fine. But... Remember to use that. I want you. Who wants to play some str? No. I don't want to play some string. Country bit is ever just easy, man. I could use the grappling hooks and you know all the other fucking tools I have more readily. That's like one way to get somewhere, despite having all this shit. It's a lot more scripted uh, <laughs> climbing and stuff. Freedom, uh, the illusion of having a lot of freedom, because. The tools You're are that to strong, talk. but that doesn't sound good. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. <clears throat> You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble, and it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka, you know what? Enough of this! No more words! Consider that a challenge. Spear. Gather your squads then, and meet us at the gate of the vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. Questions. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. Those two scabheads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like their I have. hearts. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. See, I don't really give a shit and about all the talking no ordinary parts. Speaker. It's a lot more about the... down the unyielding bulwark. Run around, adventure shit. For Gala's machines. I will go to the gate of the vanquished, southwest. That looks really obviously <laughs> uh, spliced in there. Because it like remembers what you've done or whatever the fuck. And he just kind of threw it in. Because I mean, technically, I don't think you have to have done that before this point. <clears throat> I don't think they should have had a cut there. But I guess they would need to. Yeah, they do put a lot of effort, and you know, I can respect effort, but that doesn't mean it's misplaced, <laughs> or it's poorly done effort. Oh, God. Like, give me the side quest where I actually go do shit, and maybe there's like a bit of story on the way, or to like prod me into going there. Although I'd rather just go there and th just explore and things happen, and I get some visual storytelling, but... Or environmental storytelling or whatever.
These ones that are fully focused on, like, fucking tribal politics in a world I could give two shits about. I'm just, like, <laughs> with alloy at the helm. Estefier, to stall them. Please understand. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags. Fast. Yeah, I'm sure there is. I'd love to just... I mean, I wish I actually felt that kind of passion from it. I think it's probably the dumb. That feels too fucking, uh, soulless, man, half the time. Like, when they're not leveraging their crazy graphics and the crazy set pieces with one of the few decent things in the game, the robot fights, it's just not doing anything. Like, the mountain climbing one was cool because we were climbing a mountain. We got to see vistas. We got to fight, like, bears and shit on the way up. And then it ended in a really cool kind of glide down with, like, some neat music. It's a nice set of set pieces and action sequences. But the actual story sucked, but there wasn't as much, right? This is, like, we just ran forever and listened to some chick talk. Like, this is the game's strong point, right here. But then we're gonna go talk to some fucker instead. The Gates of the Vanquished. Sick of my mount dying too, dude. Done. I was annoyingly impatient at your age, too. Oh, God, here we go. Everything okay? What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom, and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about... Uh, uh, Post-apocalyptic, post-future society world with a bunch of different... Warring nomadic tribes that incorporate, you know, high tech into whatever the fuck. And we're out here talking to some chick complaining about your grandma. <laughs> like, can we dig a little deeper? Can we get some with some teeth, man? You know, like, I mean, what, well, maybe they'll get into something interesting. We'll see. Flowers. They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with a scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago, by an Utaru seed tracker. An Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't. Found him picking flowers, right near here, in Tanakh territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. <laughs> singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name. Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to plain song. For the flowers, he said. Okay. Well, Ella just walks up and she just starts doing the spiel here. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a Utaro gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him. Whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in plain song? Or at least accept a scarlet stem? It's a long way to plain what song. Is this act? But I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo, if I can find him. Please. He was an herbalist there. I know the time has long since passed. 
But I'd like to know. Well, I'd like him to know. Ugh, you know what I mean. I think I do. The fucking episode Encouraging of the Golden Girls. Woman? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I? Look, I gotta have some quest variety, but... And while it's not the most completely just unique setting or has <laughs> the most room for unique themes and shit, there's at least some stuff you could dig into or some more interesting shit than just some old grandma's romance. Yeah, it would be fine, I suppose, if the dialogue was more interesting. If it was like truly funny, or, you know, this grandma trying to uh, find a lost love in a tough world like this, and having to fight her fucking, you know. Uh, Tribal standards and you know their relations and shit. Maybe they could make it work. A lifeline movie. A Hallmark original, dude. Drunk and Yara are already here. You can stop this. You can try. Even down there. Like a fucking cauldron or something. I'm waiting for a giant creature to get in the way of this somehow, and then everybody come by us together. It's either that, or they're gonna make us choose, right? But this game's had absolutely zero player choice. It's just even flavoring of dialogue it barely has. And there's been two or three choices that can flavor the dialogue so far. Which you know is fine, but <clears throat> uh, when they're actually gonna like maybe make me make a choice, I feel like it's gonna be a very hollow, <laughs> very you weak. Think of yourself when you should be thinking something here. You're here, ah, the hero of the Cool Roots. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Choose a side, of course. Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well, that's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No, no more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. Just a nice choose a side story. There's no gray to it. There's no nothing else. Who's gonna make a hard choice? Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now. I mean her entire reasoning is completely reliant on Draka having knowledge of draining the water. Alright. If he didn't actually have knowledge that his dude did it, then her reasoning's just the funk, and he's just the dude. So it's not really a moral choice, it's a detective, did he fucking do it or not? <laughs> no <laughs> That his man knowingly under orders from this guy drain the fucking water source so that he could have a chance to take command here. And from what we know of his character, I just don't think he would. 
You both need to stand down. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? Nice By causing joke. a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it. You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Uh, for once, we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. Pick a side. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. This isn't about Draka conspiring against you, Yara. It's about your people. You lied to them about the wound. You also said their survival is all that matters. Was that a lie too? If it wasn't, then stand down. Give Draka a shot at command. It was no lie. Which is why I'll never hand over command to the likes of him. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Draka. Even numbers. I'll take no joy in fighting either of you. Wow, tough calls. New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. New rules. So we can just change tradition. I don't know why you have to pick a side. You could just be like, hey, I'm not a part of that. I'm not I'm not having a pick here, right? <laughs> Or just tell them they're fucking idiots and you've done everything you can. If you want to minimize bloodshed, then why does picking a side to destroy the other side and helping at all? Yeah, because at the end of the day, like, you just failed is essentially the idea, right? I mean, which would be fine. And I'd rather them stick to that. And just, you know, hey, you can't actually have everything always be nice and maybe deal with that theme. Instead, you just pick a side. I wouldn't be surprised if it still works out magically. My thing is, there's never any logic applied to this kind of thing. Her whole thought process is based around him being a thug, essentially, causing the lack of water. If there's no way to prove that, and it's just not true, then they're just being pissy at each other. <sighs> And that's just, like, stupid. I don't even think there's, like, a right or wrong here. I think she's just wrong. Unless he did it. And then she's right, but I mean... I guess proof's not really a thing. Okay. Oh boy, have I been looking forward to this. Many baddies. That's a rearrange, so man. She's still alive. She's just struggling. She gotta have the last few words. We can't just have somebody die in an unfair, unceremonious way, right? Like it would really happen. Let's go down in a pointless bath of blood for some stupid fucking bullshit. 
have to have some fucking Hollywood lines at the Take end. It's over. <laughs> well, you're gonna make me wait around? <laughs> well, that was unceremonious for sure. You didn't need to do that. Akaro didn't, and Regala bit him in the ass. <sighs> okay, so what's the plan? The wound still doesn't have enough water yeah. for everyone. I'll gather the leaders from all the desert villages. We'll figure it out. For a second there, you sounded like a real commander. Your confidence is inspiring. Here, take this. My thanks for what you did here today. You didn't have to get involved. I won't forget what you did, Desert Flame. Okay. What a weak quest. Well, trophy, dude. We're making big choices. I wonder if there is a way to, like, find any proof to, like, do something else. Probably not. 10%, wow. People are, like, drinking them. Bad quest. <laughs> How do people beat in the game? I wonder. Level 30, 13%. Machine killer, on your way. This guy's got nothing else to say, dude. I'll miss your bow and your company. I'll miss your bow and your company. The quest just ends, dude. When I was talking about being unceremonious. Cauldron? I've already cleared it though, right? This is just like a story one. Maybe. I didn't quite mean it like that. they didn't want to reinforce with your right arm by revealing if he did it or not. That's the story. So yeah. Oh, let's go do the cauldron because at least there's not any talking there. Well, except for non-stop chattering. That's always there, of course. I should probably continue the story. Main story. Like I said, if I don't get Elden Ring tomorrow, then I won't get it till Monday, so maybe we'll do all the side stuff. But I'd like to be able to be like, okay, we're pulling the plug on this and finish the game. I'd like to be in a position to do that when it comes to it.
Really need a mount though. I just go like force get one somewhere. Instead of hoping I find him one on the way. That would speed things up. Sleep Lasher. Boys, it just moves so much, man. Crazy man. Give me the loot. You shouldn't have to go into this vision to see small craters, because the only way you can upgrade your bags is with small craters, but you have to like 
stop and do everything just to get it scanned. Scanning like a fucking five meter radius around you. But different. No way to hack it open. I'm gonna have to find. Find some other way in. And good luck actually eyeballing any small critters normally. to climb the mountains. Why is Captain Curry climbing a mountain, dude? To make love with the mountain. To become one with the mountain. Spelunkin. This must be the cauldron I couldn't get to above. Looks damaged. This thing must have hit here too. This is the most odd thing. I get that the game's just full of like hidden loading screens and shit, but that it just breaks into like a full load. <laughs> In the middle of like the most just random shit. Like just jumping is... Can be a little, a little jarring obviously, I don't think anybody would consider that a good thing even the devs, but... For how the game looks and how decent it actually runs, I suppose it's a small sacrifice. It doesn't happen all that often. It'll be like a handful of times a stream. And probably when I'm just busting ass. Is that a forge? Looks like it's making machine parts. Pretty sure we could tell that ourselves, but. Are just the normal ones. Get this from my stash when I need it. Die a little easier.
What do we need on the claw striders? Tail. Oh, motion. Not bad. I'm holding out for another piece of epic armor more that actually has more of the concentration shit on it instead of switching oh, to something else. Because unless I'm on PC, dude, I pretty much have to rely on having an obscene amount of fucking slow mo. you don't give a shit about hitting the special parts, which means you're not going to get your fucking upgrades. to me.
Oops. We can't destroy his socks. As long as we don't get the loot. That looks like you can get me up to the vent. Damage upgrades actually been useful to an extent. I don't know if we'll get any large melee upgrades anywhere except in gear. I don't know if they'll upgrade her spear. Spear technically has stats and everything, so maybe. But I do wish the game was full of more side content that gave you upgrades to more like full things instead of just skill points, but. We are in a skill point perk tree world right now, baby. And who knows? Outside of like your trade venues and shit, well, that's gonna <laughs> end in like open worlds. I guess I have a trade venue, not open world then. Sanct man. Alrighty then. Trying to keep it spicy by putting something fancier in here. Calling Deadly. Just have to expose the core and get those overrides. I'm sure no fight. Consider we just got a bunch of potions. Well, that could be good. Um, please hold. Please. Something.
got anything else? So I have like a free spot here that you can't hear me. Resource core. There's one right inside an adhesive sack. Cargo holders, cooling block. I think we got to the gravity generator. Have we? moving if I'm ever going to actually shoot that spot. It's very tight. <clears throat> Good luck doing it. That's the thing is these enemies never stop fucking just moving around dude. Positions you can actually do something like pretty much. This plating block. Shot off some cooling blocks. Did we shoot off the gravity generator? For all that, I mean, he still had that thing on his chest in the middle. I mean, we shot off the tail. Not sure, man. It's hard to see what's going on half the time. Maybe it moved? Pick it up. I don't know. She just says things. It makes me feel immersed. I wonder what you are, and it says Lancelorn right there on the side.
seems to be a tonic blocking this platform. I'll have to find a different exit. Not the shield room. Or is that where we started? Looks like there's room underneath the core. Maybe I can squeeze through. Going deeper. Interesting. I'll give them that. They try to at least mix up the, the side stuff. Just like the exact same cauldron every it's time. There. Or something close to it. Which is good. I mean, even the side quests have usually some kind of gameplay wise set piece or interesting, like fight. The problem is it's just at its core, I mean, <laughs> it's the same old shit, so even if they try to like mix it up, you're still having to just kind of do the, the same crafting, the same, same perk and system, and exploration. That's kind of what I mean by not really being objectively like bad. I guess we can't get that piece. That flew away. Here I come. So it flew a little too far. They're gonna give us all these like really pointless chests. I wish they would just make it so you could instantly loot them, dude. to the left. Uh, uh, Ooh. And we're just dead. Okay. Everything has such a slow delay to actually you doing it in this one. That's something even this Assassin's Creed does better, and that's what you want to knock is the most cut copy of them all. Usually at least when you press a fucking button, then a very short amount of time you're gonna fucking jump. Like you have to be all the way to the side in this to even allow yourself to jump. You can't really do it. Even if you're just like an inch away. Oh, I guess we can get his loot now. Why is this equipped? not have a backpack? Yeah, maybe it didn't. This little satchel of goodies. I just need to wait here for this to close, I guess. Apparently this was the engine that uh, Death Stranding ran on too. Little, little tidbit for you there. A bit of, a bit of info. Looks like the only way across 
where the cauldron will release the tail neck at the core. Should get me to the head. Oh, I can drop down for time to write. <laughs> My great hands aren't even on it. Now. Of course, she tells you. Because <sighs> I apparently have no brain of my own. Yeah, we got our stuff, but we're still going. It's cute. Hey, that was thank you, man. Listen, we need to clear this thing. to follow it. It's going. I'm doing a little bit of side stuff. Otherwise we're just kind of doing story. I'm having fun today. I mean, it's the same stuff. <laughs> but, uh, 
Some of the side stuff we've done today is a bit less story. I think we had the best set piece zone in the game earlier. It was like an underwater flooded hologram Vegas thing with some cool music. I mean, it's all undercut by its crappy dialogue and shit, but but keeping the actual dialogue lighter today, I think just by chance, so that's helpful. Like, I mean, this is a cauldron, so other than her just non-stop chattering all the time. Not much for her to actually say. Not much thriller to talk about. I'm gonna try to make sure I'm like primed to be able to finish the game tomorrow if I get a uh, Elden Ring. I'd like to get near the end of the story today. I did start a bit later. I know I'm doing side stuff, so probably should focus in on that. What are you up to, man? Winding down after dashing. Gotcha. How was the day? How was the dash? Gotten to start ringing yet, man? I don't remember if you're playing that on console or PC. That's no, not bad, man. Not bad at all. Or pay adjustments though. That was like twenty something an hour. That's pretty pretty solid. It's in place. Big guys fixed. Don't have alarms keeping it in place. Maybe if I override the tall neck, the shockwave will break it free. Oh, it'll go up. Good. How much do they pay in gas? Do they just pay, like, how much you drove, or just, like, partial? Ooh, I see. Does it vary a lot? Or could you actually figure it out if you could do the math? I don't know if they just kind of pay whatever the fuck they feel like. I imagine they have some kind of standard formula to it. 30 cents a mile. Okay. Not bad. I when I pause in cutscenes, it makes the game get really loud. But again, maybe cutscenes are just that loud. Makes the contrast from being paused to having super loud noise. Kino, 
Was the sun supposed to be at that point, or is that just really good timing? Fresh air again. You isn't too bad either. So, do you know if they change the amount depending on uh, for, you get for gas depending on if you're in a uh, like a place with higher gas prices? Uh, maybe the gas prices are about the same everywhere. I'm not sure. Really not. I don't know how we get this tall neck. Oh. Maybe it's something to do with that quest. Maybe not. In California? Oh, okay. I see. Oh, really? Uh, well, I'm sure they don't, though. <laughs> I doubt it. they're gonna... They're just gonna pay out of the kindness of their fucking hearts. To be fair, right? Sadly. Alright, let's try to see what's at salt by it. Then we will go do story. Just to pick up quests, if you will. Will it be fun? Yeah. I could see that. But I mean, that's... I guess that's the beauty of it. Beauty. <laughs> so you don't have to... Go crazy on it. Can just do it lightly. Using flaws will help you. Take which deliveries, gonna listen to tunes in your own car, shit like that. Definitely good. But yeah, doing it all day. I guess you still kind of have to deal with the public. But it's not like super... Super duper crazy.
Uy, estoy, estoy, estoy. So far. see those little parts I want to hit. Maybe that's how he like rolls or something? or the holds on him. But I think the only like big unique thing is the gravity core, which I don't even think it's unique. For when I need it. And then the uh the tail. The big one. Although when I blow up the gravity thing, I never see it anywhere. I just wonder if I'm actually supposed to blow it up. That machine looks like it could flatten boulders, or trees. And hack it. It's not yet. Quarter nearby. I could add it to the collection at the grove. Salt bite. The black box signal is coming from inside you, the shop. It is set. Stalker stealth generators. Treadwing, Stormbird, Stalkers. All sorts of weird Apex ship. Extra overdraw, damn it. I should always overdraw then. Mm, I could upgrade this.
I'm probably gonna get some epic ones soon anyways. I'd rather save some of this shit. Critters always, man. Alright, so the large ones are very pricey. And a lot of wild meat, man. They really want you just to shoot shit everywhere. I have a lot more berries than them, and I've got hundreds in the bag here. Let's just take from your person first. It doesn't. Maybe it doesn't even include those. It's only the over. Hope they don't mind me wrenching that door off. Do that everywhere you go? I'm sorry. Well, I guess we can use it for storage. That doesn't make you eligible for a discount. I'll look at my stash later. And shut down engines one and two. You gonna pass me that bottle? You really think these soldiers can you need supplies? hold back those combat machines? Well, this was always gonna be a one-way trip, so I guess they're gonna have to. That guy sounds like... Uh, Nolan North. Whatever the hell it is. <laughs> oh, well, this guy. Any chance it's an ice machine? This drink's warm. Red it's probably not. But it's alright, it's out of the filter. Big spear. Those ingredients mean a Nora warrior. Aloy. She's like just saying stuff in the back. The grove, right? There's not a rumor in the land that doesn't cross the cook pot. Kitchen's That's great. And stir in the gossip. And was what you said to that Tanakh soldier just gossip? About food that can make her stronger? You think soldiers are the only ones with skills? Blades aren't just for war. Slice up the right ingredients God. and you'll be stronger in the field. So with the correct sassy. preparation. What the fuck is this acting? <laughs> Please just stop. What ingredients do you need? Tired of the Some fucking and a little mystery ingredient. If it stays a mystery, I'll we'll get it for you. Wild bird's eggs. These soldiers won't touch them. They claim warriors only eat meat. Fuck you. But a true warrior takes every advantage. Yeah, that's what I've heard from people in here who can actually play it. Just have a lot of issues on PC, but. But they just keep going. I'm hoping for tomorrow, but we'll see. I'll get you those ingredients. See, Hakata? True soldiers are... You can get the eggs from the island, the lake just outside the wall. As for the meat, plenty of birds. Bring the ingredients back. Yeah. I don't know if there's been any issues on... Uh... Fly to the mountaintop. Like, can we fly at some point? But yeah, I don't know if it's uh, got any issues like that on a uh, PS4 or anything. Or 5. Console. Sorry, is what I meant.
destroyer. Thing is, you never get time for these super long ones because the enemies just. They tend to not sit in a combo. But whatever. Oh yeah. Not surprised. Solid sixty, yeah. I'll be playing PS or I'll be playing Xbox One version on a on a stock Xbox One. So, but uh, those games are much more about. Our direction than raw fidelity, anyways. The performance does always an issue. Bloodborne had bad performance, which didn't ever kill it, but I mean, I definitely would have preferred. Juicier performance for sure. Next time, come willing to trade. Gather bird eggs. Gather bird meat. Gather how many shits I give. Well, it's interesting. This is actually everything that's discovered here. And this tall neck is just kind of its own deal. Also, a new quest here. Check that out. I have something to do with finishing other quests. We need to continue the main story. Or am I, or am I, or am I might get pizza. Pizza. Cheap pizza. Some za, if you will. Yeah. Usually gives me bad heartburn from uh, Domino's, but I've been feeling alright these last few days. Might have me one. Well, it'd be two mediums is the deal. It was like 10 bucks or something. It's last me a couple days at least. We got Elder E tomorrow. Possibly then. That would be good. So that signal must be close. It's quick. Apparently, you're not the only one. Pretty sure there's a rebel outpost nearby. Eyes peeled, Red. A rebel outpost. Is there? Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah! My steel flame friend! Behold! Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. Just the one. It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. <laughs> well forged. That's it. Poor Guff. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just... wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, I guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in chain scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I could ask her. 
<laughs> well forged and well connected. If I'm in the area, yeah, I will on. try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsha, tell her. I still remember the flying keg. I bet Petra would know where I can find Marsha. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in chain scrape. Oh boy. We love Ch we love her, man. Okay. Well, maybe we'll hit that up on the way. We'll see. We shall see. It's funny the stuff they showed in the initial trailer for this. The first demo trailer thing. We haven't even. I haven't even seen it. And I'm pretty sure they showed some characters in that too. I've not been to a beach yet. It's even on the cover, man. I guess the constant journey west is the idea. Can't let the cold distract me. Kind of fucked if they just had you jump at first, but. I think it's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, desert, wasteland, snowy mountains, canyons, forests. Probably like all the way over there. I just think it's interesting they would show content from like the end of the game. A scorcher. Turned off aim assist recently. I like it much better this way, but it also means certain things are gonna miss a little easier. The aim assist is kind of fucked sometimes. It ends up causing more problems than it should, but I just have to like adjust to not having it. Yeah, it came out like a few weeks ago. I think it was just supposed to be like, whatever. I just have massive fucking hits, man. Oh, 
fuck. Much time to actually overdraw. This guy is very fast. Uh, I could use this gun. He comes packed with a gun for us to use. Just keep walking and see what happens. You plan on watching it? Anybody in here plan on watching it? I can't say I'm terribly interested. Think of his name, but all of a sudden I can't. Uh, Tom Holland. There you go. There's a flight recorder nearby. I could add it to the collection at the Grove. Yep. I've not seen him in anything except Spider-Man. Uh, he's good in that. I don't know how he... Bit of a role he plays that isn't just like a nerdy teenager type. I'm sure he's just fine. I can't see a way to reach the signal from here. That black box must have gotten there some other way. I don't want to go left. 
Ja. I think there's less talking and more gameplay in a lot of the side quests. I'd probably be more interesting. Just really do not care about a lot of the dialogue. Sons of bitches. Come on then, you red eyed monster. <laughs> <laughs> she made one last strike against the enemy. What a hero, dude. Clearly. My focus has detected another flight recorder. Thanks to the data from the cauldrons. I can override tracker burrowers now. Right. Can I ride them? Goddamn melee, man. Warping around. Everybody has like 20 yards of fucking hitbox and. He died quick, man. As expected. Since I haven't upgraded uh, the override dudes at all, the machine master. If I could like ranged override on a cooldown, then that'd be one thing. But you have to like slowly. Time to tell those soldiers to head home. Your showman buddies down in Vegas. You know, where you picked up the site. It really spruced up the place. Uh, I guess they're calling it Hidden Ember now. I think they could use your help in a few things too. Thanks, Ed. I'll try to pay them a visit. Oh, great. Well, the origins of the ornaments. There's the watchtower. That area was cool, so might be worth it. Squad leader, Kiva. Are you Kiva? I am. And you. You're the outlander who killed Regala's champion at the embassy. Ram Squad was there. We saw your duel. Pavalo still owes me shards. Oh, oh that's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Chaplain Jera sent me. It's time for you to go home. Jera's cracked then. There's no way our commander will allow us to leave our post. Not after our insubordination. Things have uh, 
changed at the bulwark. Dakota won't be able to stop you. Really? He's finally been taken down a notch? All right, then. The last member of Ram Squad is on duty at the tower on the mountain. Of course he is. Let me recall him. That's odd. His echo always answers. One of us will have to go up. I can get up there easily. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. The start of the climb is just across the falls. Try not to break your neck, yeah? No. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. What's going on? I'm moving out. Back I'll to the bulwark. My stash later. You're shitting me. What about his echo? The outlander will check on it. You think they'd wait? <laughs> like, hey, we'll leave, you know, when we know you're good. Or the Zeko's good, but I guess he just wants to get back, man. A fucking date, I guess, dude. The fastest way to move in the first game was rolling. I don't know if they've changed stealth speed or run speed and shit. Probably sliding seems to be faster. This must be the start of the climb. A watchtower should be at the top. Yeah, everybody's just like a crazy climber in this. I would be interested in this. Some birdies up there. Sky drifters circling the watchtower. That's not a good sign. Hello. I gotta take out these machines before I can look around. I could override sky drifters if I get the right parts to fix the data on them. And we Apex. You through the rock, of course, again. Still in this fight. That's why wouldn't he be able to? Do? 
cool if you could like use your grapple or something to like yank these guys a little bit. His fucking tail, dude. Yeah, it's frozen in midair right now. It's actually just stunned in midair, like literally stunned in midair. Okay. That tail went flying, dude. That must be him. Examine the corpse. Finally, somebody's fucking dead from some shit. This will be in my stash when I need it. I just magically survive every little fucking thing, man. Let's see how hunky dory everybody is, um that's the reaction that kinda matters. Judging by these wounds, the Sky Drifter surprised him. At least it was quick. Eva sounded her horn. It's a different call from before. I'd better get back down to the watchtower and check on them. Yeah, the watchtower's under good. attack. I need to get down there fast. Swooping into battle. Those machines are in for a surprise. Yeah, she's gonna do a whole lot. Swooping in. <laughs> like. Glintox. Great. Blood of the Ten, the Outlander glides. Oh, Blood of the Ten. Yeehaw, Bakaruski. Shoot him in the face for their parts. is fucked. <laughs> well, like I've got a gun, I've got a fucking arrow, man. A bow and arrow. I'm 
predictable unless they just sit somewhat still. Just a second or two. Animations are too wacky, man. I mean, they look nice. Everything looks nice, but Jesus, dude. <laughs> just getting the shot sometimes is a fucking chore. Especially on a um, controller. You just can't get that, like, twitch reflex on a controller, I feel like. At least not as easily. jaws I shot off? Where did those go to? Everything just likes to fly away in like 20 different directions usually. It's pretty special. They must all be down there. For the assist. Is the Zeko on his way down? Actually, the machines got him. I took him by surprise. I'm sorry. What? He was the first of the squad. Our best fighter. He's gone, Kiva. It's just the two of you now. Damn, Dakote. All we did was go to the embassy, follow Chief Akaro's orders. And what do we get for it? A death sentence dressed up as guard duty. All because Takote has a vendetta against the chief. Well, that ends now. Yeah, we, we get it. Yeah. Thanks, Outlander. Here. This is for you. Pavalo! We're moving out. Once again, a cute little set piece. We climb something, and we fly Dakota's off and fight some more birds. Jerk. Maybe now I'll stop wasting lives over political agendas. Jerk. You're a jerk. A rush of air. Jerk. Gods damn it. some mounts. Preferably not have them die too, so maybe we can do something about that.
I can set them to defensive. Or active skills would be good. Later, man. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Which is easier to hack these. This guy's just walking in the water. What do I mean, man? Other than with the smoke bombs, this hell's kind of a chore. that is to pull off. These guys can go in water. Yeah. He's shooting fire underwater. Okay. Let's just not bother with that for now. Oh, there's another one over here, anyways. Perfect. What pieces, ma'am? Center. Oh, you don't want to destroy it. So, just kill it. Everybody's here, dude. 
as if they fought each other. How many does it take to get to the smoke pops, dude? Some else of this. No, I have a man at least. Oh my god, there's another one, dude. Gotta find the right cauldron to let her override that machine. just on our way over here <laughs> and watch them so I need millions of mats these will never come in handy are there? They just do not want to let you have these. It takes too long to pick them up and these enemies have like no fucking stop, man. So you could probably stun walk them with this.
Jesus. Well, that hasn't done shit, but whatever, man. <laughs> I'd rather him stay alive so we can just move quicker. I mean, it was exciting, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it just kept coming, man. Was there just like one in here? to repair. Road all regular mounts. Regular. I'm flying there's some crazy shit. Only road three mounts. I should fucking uh start repairing these. Journey time. Please get down, dude. Please just go down, man. Thank you. Thank you. There's clearly an animation for it. Fucking Giga Turtle over there. Oh, we've seen a beach. It exists. Coordinates that Gaia gave me for Demeter are close. Solid wall of bushes, apparently. Okay. Looks like we have to go quite a ways around. A cauldron? Really? Well, let me unlock this and then we'll do the cauldron. It might be story lock. Cauldron, possibly. I kind of doubt they let you, like, legit fly fly, but, like, maybe, you know. Stand of the Sentinels. A campfire above me. Grab that. Maybe do the tall neck. There he looks nice. Oh, the road's this way. There. 
Getting Valor from getting knocked down might actually be a good upgrade. Jump kind of fucked me, my guy. Man, these mounts are fucking unwieldy as shit, dude. I've got this. He just kind of like hopped and then the, he was stuck in the ledges. Doesn't have the proper animations and shit for her. This is where animations and contextual movement and shit are kind of bad. far away from these fucking dudes, man. I mean, I guess I don't need to be able to save. I would like to save, but... I do like this kind of environment though. Like Northwest ish, you know, that kind of area. It's crisp. Some fog, some tree, some verticality. I think it's why I like the Last of Us 2's environments. There's some rain in the mix, man. Damn. It'll be a good bit of variety for this game too. Although I mean it's had variety in zones. Getting some deep woods here though. Super trees, my sequoias, baby. That'd be neat. That sounds like a tall neck. Trees as tall as towers. The stand of the sentinels. Sounds like a tall neck. Settlement. Looks abandoned. But I have to get me on that tall neck. If I can find a way to the top. Stalkers. Stealth generators. I'm glad I kind of knew where to shoot there. It was a bit of luck for sure, but I was kind of aiming for the belly. Melee just sucks, man. Like, if you could combo them, like, at least put them in a one combo, and then they kind of get, like, fucked on it, then it'd be fine, but, like, it just sucks. <laughs> like, it doesn't do shit for damage. Most of the big fucking special hits that do anything are, like, after, like, a two, three, four hit combo, and enemies just don't care. Charge seems to do better than most anything, but... And you do get armor for a minute. I'm 
I need those uh, stealth things though, for some fucking reason. Shit's for my main bow. Fellas out just having a chill, dude. I wish this thing moved a little quicker, man. That's what this is what I'm worried about. Though, that we're gonna have actual dialogue again. <laughs> See, what's been nice about just running around out here, just doing tall necks and shooting shoes, we're just soaking the environment. Right? Technically died and reloaded, but it might just put us somewhere and not actually reloaded us. Not sure how it works. Well, we'll have to worry about running out. Overland <coughs> settlement. Looks abandoned. But high enough to get me on that tall neck. Fuck, dude, these boys are everywhere, man. Sniping from a distance. The triple knock. It's not very accurate. Decided to just hang out. So to get crazy on it. He's here for the ride, man. Although he's not really the fastest dude in the business. Should be able to get up there. <coughs> the stalkers are fun to fight them. I mean, most of the robots are, but the stalkers are a little different because <clears throat> they're not about shooting thousands and thousands of parts off. They just kind of act a little different because they got invisibility. They stay far away. <laughs> but if you can place one or two good shots, kind of changes the whole battle plan there. 
They're not just like, I'm gonna fucking rush you with a 20 mile long gap closer. <laughs> the fucking wacky ass hitbox. I think that kind of makes them refreshing. I need to get to that platform. Just gotta find a way. Too much of a way. Going down, here we go. Cool if the people here were just like so fucking crazy tribal, they're just like cannibals or some shit, or not cannibals, but you know, like. Didn't even speak, didn't give a fuck, and they were just more of like an enemy, and she just kinda has to do like a section more, just like without a, like a lot of story. Or maybe you slowly start to figure out like some of their culture by like blasting through a bunch of the camps and discovering more shit as you go through whatever area. It looked like a fucking museum or a campus over there. Something, something different. I'm trying to find ways they could like have a little bit of like uh, environmental storytelling <laughs> without actually <laughs> having a bunch of legitimate dialogue. But I don't think they'd ever do it. The point is, I'll have to find a platform that's high enough to reach a checkpoint. That's why the tall necks and the cauldrons and shit are interesting, is because there's not like a narrative a lot of the time. I mean, she'll never stop talking, and I don't think they have the confidence to try fucking a triple A open world game without like a bunch of story, but a bunch of dialogue based story. Monkeys clamber jaws. Monkeys. The tails. Fucking dead. <laughs> I think we kicked down a ladder somewhere, but we we'll just knock your ass back, man. Had the epic snipe shot bow here. I was they're kind of useless if I don't have like the higher level versions of stuff at this point.
Those are not easy to hit. Try to do like little twitch reactions and you know, work well. Jesus, the jumping. Mr. Jumpy over here, dude. He's even got some big ol' fucking MMO over here. Just gonna shoot him in the face a bunch, dude. Tail. And he just fucking bent down slightly to dodge it, dude. These guys are meaty, man. Tail just moves too much, man. Trying to get the tails on some of these guys is such a bitch, man. Oh, God. If you're not in a rush to play this, I would recommend waiting for the fucking PC. <laughs> you're trying to get the little fucking, uh... I mean, maybe you're supposed to use obscene amounts of traps to stun them to fucking get their tails or something. It's very hard to fucking hit. Targets that jostle around so much unpredictably. I mean, we can get the tails sometimes, don't get me wrong, we got that other guys. The melee seemed a bit more consistent. The thing is, you're gonna end up killing them a lot of the time before you actually get the damn thing. I need a bit more juice of imagining on our weapons and stuff. Reload speed. I 
I don't think that works with uh, uh I mean maybe she'll just pull her arrow out quicker or something. three maybe not it's an interesting fight though because of the terrain how they don't tell you about the ladder until she literally sees it and then she has to close it. My mom. Where do you I guess to make it look like she's out here talking herself, bonking. Not that I'd want her to tell me, of course. Find a spot to jump onto that tall neck from here. Best followers and viewers. Damn it. Now there's a quality of bots out there, not just a simple bot. Oh, nice. She didn't auto fucking jump over. Good. <laughs> Perfecto. Thought she was just gonna jump onto that. Plank or stand on the uh, the rope at least. Will this be tall enough? to get on the ropes. What the fuck, dude? Oh, I pressed to the right to jump to the right fucking rope like before, man. She just fucking jumps off. <laughs> I hate contextual jumping, man. I know it makes the areas look all nice and you could have them look more realistic or something and still have the jumps work because it, you know, it gives you varied jump distances and all this and that. And they can grab onto this stuff, and it could just be like anywhere, right? but like, good god, it makes for some fucking crappy feeling gameplay. I'd rather just, just fucking jump, dude, on <laughs> this platform. <laughs> but then, I mean, obviously the mid-air controls and shit are not good enough for that. Alright, let's slowly... Okay, you don't jump, you just press the stick here. Even less input than I thought. Uh. 
gym. You think she'd have a little bit more grace? I have to go find that. Now well, this has been an ordeal, but it's been it's been fun. It doesn't work over here. <laughs> Only there. Or does this work? This does work. That's better. Barely made it, Jesus. It's got a pretty sharp decline on the hill he walks on. Behemoth Clamber Jaw. This looks like it's gonna have some story in it. The Pip. Cauldrons are supposed to be blue. Or not blue, but green when they're finished, right? Yeah, this is just like a totally, a totally new one. I guess we should probably go do that. Travels and shit. Probably should go pick one of these up. Not ready at any time for yeah. one. <coughs> ready at any time to teleport down here. So where did I yoink that off? Fall or something, right? Or maybe it's just right here. Thought there was water. If not. his thing, but I guess he's already MP'd down from the big boy. I don't know if that chest is down here anymore. Guess not, dude. Oh, here it is. 
Got some stuff. Okay, we got the campfire. Uh... So we could check this cauldron. Was it on the map? I only saw it through that quest. This is the arena first time challenging battles and windmills to purchase legendary weapons and outfit. And you can go to the online leaderboards. Fucking woo wee, baby! We got enough to do. Play a leaderboard climbing up. It's nice to have it there, why not? Or if it's just like a time thing, like how quick can you beat this? <laughs> Why did you just like fall? Fucking bizarre. Gate of the Vanquished. Fitting place for Yara and Draka's challenge, I guess. Nice. This didn't become a bloodbath. been here I'm not getting out the way I came in there must be an exit somewhere I have been here God, are you forgetting stuff like that I didn't appear on this like as a quest really. Unless this is supposed to be like a quest later. Made it. Uh, that was a long climb. Of course it was. Yeah. Maybe we're gonna be coming back. Cauldron Gemini. It's like yellow, dude. Or blue. Yeah, maybe you come back for some kind of fight. Yes. Seems bizarre, whatever it is. Anywho, let's, uh, let's move on. Let's... Oh yeah, I got some quests for us at the Vegas place. We'll go back there later. Not like I'm gonna do them right away unless they seem very interesting. Trip back under the the uh, hologram bit could be cool.
I guess it was like a little noise when it was done loading. I tend to look away during the loading screens. They're not really like that long of loading screens compared to some of the shit we've played. Uh, Disco Lisi was pretty bad. Right. And very often. His claws and shredding jaws were enough, apparently. She says that even though he's our mount and she's seen it a thousand times. Some of these contextual dialogue options are really fuck. Or dialogue. Dialogues. Things. Voice lines. I guess I could voice lines. Someone managed to take out an entire squad. Oh, it was a big monster. There's lights in that ruin. I better keep my guard up. He just walks in. Oh, better it. keep my guard up. And stands there. Hold your fire! I'm not here to fight! The barbarians pinned down. Move in! Whoever these people are, it looks like we're not going to be friends. The Barbarian. I need to get past it's these hostiles and into the ruins. It's got a target! He's going to ground. <laughs> uh, Bell? Yeah, he died with honor, dude, and all that. Your blade to it. He's just barely moved the fucking thing. That's definitely where your aim assist comes in. <laughs> For the ancestor. But I mean, at least he's got a tight hitbox. I guess he kind of needs to. Or enemies tend to need to in this. Decided to get rid of the high ground and go for the low ground. I'm used to the auto aim, man. When it comes to moving targets, <laughs> they've got me have bad habits instead of leading correctly. City too. I was hoping we get rewarded for some headshots. I mean, he barely fight um, humans in this at all. But even these guys are just like fucking juiced on armor. Pain subsiding. You will be found. 
Not too worried about it, pal. That fucking homing attack. <laughs> like dodge backwards and he just moves an extra like meter. Just a meter fast in case there's more. Always looks wonky as fuck, dude. It should be somewhere in these ruins. Room on me. I can send it to my stash. The melee is always funky in this one. In the first one, everything sticks to you like glue. The alternative is something where spacing actually matters and attacks or something that, uh, I guess it doesn't matter how much readability there is, that just kind of matters in general, but it's probably where you can't just constantly do this to run backwards, but I think since this game, I mean, there's so much shooting is why they have it that way. It's a third person shooter, first and foremost. So melee needs to have some kind of way to uh, actually be a threat. A game where you can just fly backwards really quickly. So everything hums in like fucking they're glued to you. Some sort of old office complex. Better fill up like can. all those they're just money if I could buy all the stuff that I needed from uh, merchants instead of like farming random like creatures for it then it'd be really Another nice flower. to get that Demeter should be right beyond that door but those vines are blocking the way unless I can cut through them I'm gonna need to find another way in but at the end of the day it's like you it can really Do so what? Just so I'm doing food today. Just save some of what I ate later, or uh, earlier for later. Something about cutting in. Just beat on this helplessly for a minute. I don't think so. There has to be a way to get to the other side of that door. Didn't I try to like scan this earlier? That didn't even show. Maybe I had this out and it doesn't show. Maybe I had to do an actual pull. Cause like it looked like one you could do something to, but it didn't pop up. Well, there's no way out. Great. At least there's a console. A log. Just got off the line with U.S. robot. Five log. Apparently. Time's running out. Hard to tell Harris that our cure might be worse than the disease. <sighs> Even if 
adamantine wreath works, we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently. But Cobble's team is working on it over at Test Station Ivy. He'll come through. He has to. Adamantine wreath. Another secret project. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so... Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy... How do I get out of here? This is gonna be another key item that's just really boring. You just press R2 on it and it just blows it up. I really wish these actually had some practical use. I mean, the grappling hook thing, you'd think like, you know, you could maybe do a little bit of something to something. Oh, great. These guys again. The people, but you don't. Wherever they are, they want me and dead. the fire flower one. Be Literally, just, might as well just be a key. I like how you can preload this. I think that's a really cool touch. Some feeling of preparation, like a little bit of tactic. Yeah, it's very minor. <laughs> Something. How about this? There's a barbarian in the compound. She got past the lookouts. Find her, kill her, and bring her head to the lieutenant. Understood. I guess diplomacy is off the table. Here? Everything done. Can we take care of them quietly? No, that's real. There's not exactly a whole lot of options for that kind of gameplay. I just hope nobody's ever looking at the guy. I slowly walk up and press R1 on. And if humans see you for more than like a millisecond, you're, you're done. The ancestors led us here. Knowledge will be found. Who goes there? It's going to be like this the whole watch. Cool if you can actually climb this. Someone's been killed over here. Stay sharp. <laughs> Ooh, really? I think someone's been attacked. Don't walk into an ambush. Damn. Stop this! Apparently that wasn't a time for stealth. Ah. I was hoping we'd get like an attack from above, but it wasn't high enough apparently for the contextual setup. You 
just lazily moves to the left, man. Sama move. Yes. No where you are, ma'am. This is why this game is bad as this dude. <laughs> Cause everybody moves around too fucking much to to jack or shit about. The monsters is not as big a deal because they're big targets and they'll stop sometimes, but the humans move around a lot. I mean, the monsters move around quite a bit too. You think, that grass you think that's grass you're fucking in? You think that's air you breathe? I don't want to turn back on him, is this? I mean, it is kind of like a natural thing of console shooting to have it, and a lot of it. Not any shooters really don't have it. I think maybe... I feel like RE7 and like 8 have like a very light amount of aim assist. But man, I really like having no aim assist on the... Uh, creatures. Sometimes it sucks, but feels more rewarding when I know it's like my aim doing the, the hits and there's not going to be any weird mistakes where I'm aiming at something and then it kind of just like shoots off because the auto aim thinks I want something else. Get good, as they say, when it comes to the humans. Or be more patient, I guess. <clears throat> Just wait for them to stand completely stock still. Or to do body shots, but that takes crap. It's not as fun. <laughs> I'd rather miss a few headshots, but then I'll finally actually hit it. That door looks promising. I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. Um. They attacked me. If by death alone I can atone our trespass. Look, I'm not going to kill you, okay? I just want to figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Oh, she's disgusting. Uh, I'm of the chosen people. The Quen. The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone, the eye that reveals the legacy. The legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. Now, it is in the darkness and the lost places. Among the ancient it's ashes be and the bones of party the party that it lies waiting. Now, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alpha. Second Maybe we each other. Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we start again? <sighs> Those soldiers. 
They opened fire on me without warning. Why? Uh, it is the duty of the Quen to seek out the legacy and defend it from the ignorant and envious. Not that you seem ignorant. But back home, other tribes only mean us harm, and we were told the same was true here. Does that come from your legacy? The legacy is truth. But we have been known to misinterpret it. I hope time and the wisdom of our ancestors will guide us down the correct path. Yeah. I hope so, too. So you call data from the ancient past the legacy? Yes. All that is not lost or forbidden. What does that mean? All that we are capable of reading and that which is permitted. Okay. I'm not sure I get it. That's fine. Um, so what do you use the data for? The greatest secrets are the ones that improve the lives of many. How to tend our... <laughs> I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't know what... Crops? How to... Mm, yeah, I'm surprised anybody's rolling lipstick. Anymore. But I, mean, I guess there's a bunch of people who have, like, face tattoos and shit. I guess they just do lipstick. <laughs> yes. Hold floodwaters back or even cross the ocean. Technology. That is I think awesome. even the most malnourished people in this game are cooking a double chin. <laughs> I don't know why. It's by design, they're like, yeah, everybody gets a double chin. <laughs> everybody gets fat cheeks and a double chin, dude. Just, that's the, the style, I guess, of the, uh, the tribesmen. Seek here. Technology that can help my people back home. Even Alloy's about got a double, man. <laughs> I've never heard of the Quen. Our lands lie across the Great Ocean. Like, I mean, I don't mind a little weight. Yeah. It's not a big deal, but it's, it's, you really notice that, like, almost every character, they'll, they'll have, like, twig arms, but then, like, you're cooking with a double chin still. And it's just, like, it feels. Odd. When the game's going for hyper realism, and I feel like I'm looking at like a thin man, like some kind of like alien in a human skin, <laughs> like you can't help but be drawn, your attention drawn towards it. Like if they want to have like a husky clan, and they they're all meaty and they eat good, and they're fucking big, you know, barbarian types. That's, that's that makes sense. Shane, whatever was kind of like that, but then like. Even the anorexic uh, type of looking clans, malnourished clans, still have like fat faces. I haven't been here before. So why come now? Our homeland has been ravaged by freakish weather. Terrible storms and blistering droughts. The crops are failing. The people are starving. When we looked for answers, it was proposed that if we had the courage to cross the ocean <clears throat> to Legacy's landfall, then we might earn the knowledge we need. To save our people. But so far, that knowledge has eluded us. So, your people call this place Legacy's Landfall? No. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's some places where they can eat crazy good. There's that one place where the machines keep pretty much just growing them fucking infinite food. That was good for a bit. I feel like in a world where you can't eat the machines and the only large source of meat is a fucking boar that's this big, <laughs> you're gonna have some trouble eating in general, but they seem to find a way. They don't really want to explain a lot of that, you know. Nobody wants to dig into that shit. It's just problems, right? Like one of these motherfuckers eat. When I've run around the world, the biggest animal I see is a small boar. Uh, landfall is where we arrived. To the west, in the shadows of the sunken city by the broken bridge. You mean San Francisco? Yes. You're well versed in the legacy. It was a place of great importance to our ancestors. We had hoped to learn their secrets there, but so far that door remains closed. Even so, the data we discovered there has led us to this place. <laughs> 
It might be uh, our last chance. I mean, this chick might hurt. The explanation might be that, you know. Even though apparently they're starving and the, the elements are destroying her town, you know, she's like a scribe or a historian. You know, she's not probably out there doing a whole lot of crazy shit, but like, just Joe Blow, the fucking like tribal warrior with like 20 chins. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know about that. Like, I, I, you, can, you can make a case for, for this lady, but I think we're just at the point where like, this is the, the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> I think, like, Everybody's got very uh, full cheeks and almost uh, double chins. But... To find something that can save your crops and your people. Yes. If the ancestors will be generous to us once more. God. I guess in the development, too, they decided everybody needed a very manicured, well-taken-care-of haircut. But all the haircuts have to look like shit. Like, that would somehow make it look more tribal. Like, these people putting fucking work into this hair. If you had some hair like some of these people do nowadays, that's money, man. There's money in that fucking do. <laughs> Is it just random tribal people with... Looking like perfectly clean, nice looking like, I mean, oh, you know, like a fade or like anything. Just like, like shit like that. The craziest thing they got is like, oh, we got people who have like horns or like a mohawk and classic. And we look like they got dirty ass hair. Which would be like fine, you know, whatever suspension of disbelief. We're just going for some idealized stuff just to have you know visual variety but then everybody's like got double chins and <laughs> usually looks like fucking hell so you said your ancestors left your they can't decide man yes really the most dirty hair in the game is like alloys hers looks kind of greasy 13 diviners have possessed Might just be some of the braid discovered among the ruins in our homeland i have their honored names committed to memory so you have one but none of the soldiers out there did we each have a role to play. No, it is the Diviner's purpose to seek out the legacy, interpret the wisdom of our ancestors for the good of all, and to keep it safe. Oh, so yeah. No I mean, her, uh... The VA and the, the actual face model, the actress or whatever, I mean, they look... They look fine. They look good, even. But she looks nothing like them. But the diviners know she how looks to... really different from her original version too. Not the concept art version. That's like way different. But like even just the first game. I was watching a bit of the first game again last night. Ugh, God, my back. Hair back problems. I like Last of Us too when they like remade Last of Us one scenes in it and they look really fucking off. <laughs> like. Like something's just gone along the way. We use a focus. Not even the Imperial family and certainly not soldiers. So how many diviners are there? At Landfall, a small group. Uh, back at home, a few dozen more. That's a guess. Uh, only the overseers know for sure, and I am not of their rank. I like how... Um, he's not really worried that we just slaughtered everybody she came here with. I mean, they're just on bad terms. You'd, you'd imagine some fear, but she's very just casual. Oh, this girl seems nice. She just murdered everybody. I'm not like shook at all. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station. I mean, it was at least like six, seven, eight people. That mentions it? No, uh, but I did find something that looks like a map, uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. Here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. 
You can't see the map? It's okay. The oh, so focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid 2050s. Let me just give you another one. But I could share them with you. Share them? Dude, why? She has a pack of like a thousand of these little chips. Just give her a freshie, dude. Like, we're gonna do the whole fucking demolition man thing here. Like, just fucking. <laughs> give her a new one dude like yeah that's her famous that's like her special thing but like, you know you don't uh i guess uproot all of her beliefs but like clearly this chick has one anyway so it's like who gives a shit just, just hand her one but, like the knowledge matters more than the device but... <laughs> you can see <laughs> what is lost and forbidden Mind fuck. not lost not forbidden just a Newer format. There. That's where I need to go. Oh, but you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. Well, what about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Let's try with my focus. <laughs> you're, you're out of date. Your old news music. I believe these stopped. consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. I didn't even queue up. Come on, let's go. The ancestors have shown me the way. With you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? Such half-assed dialogue, man. The ancestor show me the ways. We're just like waltzing over here with unceremoniously. <laughs> just fucking her ear, her ears just fucking exploded. Apparently, when she hit the ground, dude. Oh, this place is a maze. According to the map, there should be another exit further in. Just stay close. What is she going to tell her people? Oh yeah, the person who murdered all of your brothers and stuff because I think it was only dudes. Yeah, she helped me find data. It's all misunderstanding. How much modern TV do you watch? I'll watch the occasional um, big show or... HBO thing or something, if it really stands out. I want to watch The Terror. And, you know, stuff like Tree Detective. Or I watched part of WandaVision recently, but I don't know if I could still make any more Marvel shows. <sighs> Probably more anime, but I've seen The Expanse, at least a few seasons of that. There's the occasional show, but yeah, it's not like, I wouldn't say I'm um, I've seen a lot. I've not seen a enough to hold a big conversation about like twenty twenty one, twenty two, twenty twenty two shows. Most of my people are like that. I promise. If you say so. Stand back. Okay. I try to hold back on the shitty Netflix adaptations well, when I can. What I'm seeing a lot though, this just reminds me of like a shitty Amazon show or something. There has to be a way out of here. How come? Through here. I haven't seen Discovery or anything though. Star Trek is this guy, I assume Star Trek's coming. Yeah. 
That's what I assume. It reminds me of some like crappy young adults fucking novel or like a dead end. Maybe we should try another path. Some like whatever like Amazon Netflix show. But I haven't seen enough to really say that with like any <laughs> authority. But I guess it's true. We haven't tried that smaller tunnel over there. Over where? Here? It's just going back. According to the map, the exit should be this way. <clears throat> yeah. The art of making <laughs> ripping dialogue is over. <laughs> I'll be glad <laughs> to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a tomb down here. That's not true, but quippy dialogue, light dialogue, dialogue that you know softens the heavier scene. It's just kind of filler. Unnatural shit. You definitely see a particular brand of that nowadays. Weird games and movies. Obviously, as a whole, that's not how things are. There's all sorts of shit being made, awesome stuff being made nowadays, story wise, movies, shows. There's definitely, like, there's a large chunk, swing of stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know maybe in like 10 years or something, like we'll be able to look back and like, you know, just, ah, yes, this was the style. Like some kind of transatlantic, you know, shit from way back in the noir films and stuff. Like you can just kind of like, yep, that particular style of acting, that particular style of dialogue, maybe it's just going to be the 2020 2022, or 2020 fucking style of fucking mindless dialogue. I think a lot of uh, what's interesting about trends nowadays and um, writing and stuff like this is how much uh, just money and like a corporate interest or something like actually affects the work. <clears throat> Not that it like hasn't in the, the past or something, but it's like a huge deal nowadays, especially like in games. Obviously it affects games because I mean you're getting the same cookie cutter Market tested, safe stuff because it sells. But it also, I mean, that affects the stories they're willing to write or what's considered palatable and kind of defines in some ways, like I feel like art from like a like an era of time. See if it keeps going that way or. It'll just be the like it is right now, where there's a there's a lot of good shit coming out, but there's just a big chunk of like obvious money shit. Not that there's been no passion in this or any hard work, but I don't mean that this is some AI generated fucking mindless like total drivel. But I mean, it's clearly not reaching super far. There's not any chances being taken with the horizon, right? <clears throat> and that's in the dialogue too. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe you would like a pat. When I mean passion in this situation, I guess I kind of just mean you know somebody probably worked pretty hard on design, you know, creating some of these robots. I don't know. Maybe they're maybe it's just, uh, <laughs> I'm creating this weird straw man. Like they're ignorant. I'm imagining like a thirteen year old who thinks he's writing the next big thing or something. Yeah. I mean there's there's somebody there who's like really put a lot of passion and work into making these really awesome environments or, you know, on a technical level and Probably had fun making the robots be cool and interesting and shit, but yeah. I mean I 
you definitely don't feel, you know, the soul, the charm. You don't feel that passion as much, right? Like, clearly there has to be some, but it doesn't... It's not dripping with it, right? And I think that's kind of what I mean. Like, yeah, there's probably people there who just, like, get a paycheck. And I think part of the why you don't feel that kind of, like, passion or kind of soul from these sorts of things is just the sheer amount of people working on them. It's hard for that kind of individual or smaller team, maybe, you know, vision. Or there's not, like, a guy who's, like, at the head of it all, you know, carrying a vision out. Like, I think that's part of it. But like I said, also, I feel like the focus, the group to market test to kind of save money type of thing is part of it. With like Assassin's Creed, yeah, there's like fucking, I mean, there's probably even like less passion, right? Because I mean, it's just yearly, almost yearly or bi yearly, bi yearly to every two years releases from Ubisoft, who's just, it's pure money, right? But this is like, it took them five years. It might be copy pasting like every fucking thing in the book for open world, but like there's a bit more going on here. These days, other than corporate control of the project, so I think they just hire factory produced people <laughs> straight off the line. I'm telling you, dude, lizard men. I mean, jokes aside, obviously some people put some hard effort into this. It's not objectively like a bad game, but yeah, there's a certain level of uh, of, of charm or soul or yeah, pursuit passion. I, I I don't think you can you can feel it as much, and I think you could, like I said, I think you could blame the. I imagine the sheer size of like marketing and budget and stuff. And, Imagine the amount of people and then corporate interests kind of stuff. And playing it safe, right? Like, it's it plays it safe. And at the end of the day, you're not going to feel, like, <laughs> a, a lot of that when it's, like, you're just going to, you know. You're not going to make Donkey Kong Country if you just want to play it safe and make Mario Bros. again or something. <laughs> right? Like, it's just never... It's just going to feel like Mario Bros. And I, I mean... That's a really bad example, but you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't feel enough like it's really carved some kind of path of its own. There's like some some drive or passion or ambition there. I think ambition's the biggest thing for me. <sighs> like TNG is being. And I'm talking about the game as a whole right now. I guess the story. I have no fucking idea. The story is just kind of just kind of whatever. And gets carried. If it, I mean, it doesn't get carried, but it's like, you know, falling off a cliff and it's just barely hanging on. And the thing that's holding it on is the presentation. <laughs> um, I like when Tanji's been juiced and they had to tell Ron Bear that the free couldn't walk out with their dicks out on TV. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's not about like limiting, you know, like re like re the common sense level of like what they can pull, like get away with. It's like they have a lot more control, I imagine, over the whole thing. And even if they have like creative freedom and stuff, I mean, the amount of money, the amount of marketing budget, what they're even hired on for in the first place, I imagine, influences the kind of thing they'll make. Right? <laughs> Crazy Neo Boomer goes full schizo mode. That can't be good. They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. What have I missed? Um, that was probably the coolest part of the game because there wasn't as much talking, but uh, you're in kind of like a desert, Las Vegas, ripped straight out of Blade Runner 2049. And then you dive down underneath it into a flooded dome, Las Vegas, with a lot of holograms, kind of making it look like a like the ocean or something. Which is really cool because the music was pretty neat. 
I like, still wouldn't shut up, but there's nobody else to talk to once you get down there. Um, there's some some neat fights and some little stealth water sections. I mean, the water movement isn't that fun, but it looked really cool and felt a touch more creative. <clears throat> like I said, the game is, you know, visually a, an achievement, I would say. It's very hardcore, but it's not super creative. But I, I thought that was interesting. So anyway, she goes down there and she gets the AI after she beats up some, some bosses and stuff. But, uh, we go back and the clone chick is just having like a freak episode. And Aloy's kind of a bitch. But nobody wants to just tell her she's a bitch for some reason. Because she's got so much weight on her shoulders. And now we're going to do the other story thing. We killed all of her friends, but she doesn't really care. This chick on the right, she's part of some tribe that like religiously follows the data, and they have like like weak versions of what Alloy has on their ear. So now we are trying to find a way to break the metal flowers we've been seeing all game to get inside the AI room, and this chick is kind of helping, I guess. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Apparently this chick does fight. Everybody fight. Oh, you haven't missed much. I did a lot of side quests. Or not a lot, but I've done a fair amount. I'll keep some extra on hand. The Last of Us 2? Hey, I'll take it. I thought The Last of Us 2's environments were really nice. I don't mind this, like, oh, northwest area we're in right now. Well, at least you can go through. At this point, like I said, the big good thing about the game is just the uh the visuals whether they're really creative or not still kind of like a technical it's really nice looking at impressive visually that only i feel like that's kind of a hollow thing we can fight them or try to sneak past your call it only can mean so much at the end of the day. Cracker Brewer. Melee's a fucking joke, dude. Defeated the machines. That's kind of what I mean. Uh, yesterday, it's like yes, it's a very impressive the amount of work and technology that you know, on just like this objective level, that has gone into the game to make it look like this. And while that's it's it's impressive, it's it's kind of a hollow thing to a certain extent because, yeah, I <laughs> mean. A lot of that. There's a clear goal there, right? Like how much, how real can you make it look? You know, how nice can the volumetric lighting and shit look? And like, there's a clear goal. I don't think creativity, except maybe for problem solving, like really matters that much. And I feel like that creative side of it is more interesting than just the raw technical achievement of it. In something like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's impressive, but like using those tools to create something truly, you know, something different, something, <laughs> some passion, ambition, or something, I think is more interesting than just recreating reality. Don't get me wrong, I think a lot of the maps have some really great vistas. I think just the way they've put together the world with some of the canyons and how the fog is placed is like, you know, it's. It's good. It's not like it's truly recreating a a, a, life, a real life, but there's definitely a 
somebody's got an eye for very nice looking areas, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's a snowy area, it's the desert. And that's all fine and dandy, but there's not much of a twist to it, except there's a bit of ruins and a few pieces of tech lying around. But yeah, that's kind of what I mean, is like there's a hard goal there, and it's something that like money and time can kind of achieve to a certain extent. Well, uh, it, it's, well, it's impressive, so I, like I said, I appreciate I respect the work put into it. It doesn't really matter as much to me. <laughs> Compared to art direction or something, right? Like something, something more out there, something different. And brushes for Ivy and Moss, so. Uh... <laughs> yeah, pretty much, dude. Speaking of AI, the AI is not very great in this game. It's just really disappointing. They just kind of like barely walk up and just kind of sit for 10 hours and then they just walk right back. And the humans, like you saw them before, they sit out there and looked at a guy's corpse for like 10 hours. And then just kind of like didn't do anything and then all of a sudden said somebody got hurt. And I think, like, and that, that goes to show, you know, how bad it is for stealth, I guess. Like, like bad AI makes, mm, I mean, good AI that you can do a lot of stuff to makes for better stealth. The stealth system's so weak in this, I guess they have to leave them simple. I mean, otherwise it's just like, you know, the enemy just attacks you in however way they're programmed to. I guess there's not many really actual good um, instances where you can, like, really use Clever AI in this. I mean, they're, it's horrible for stealth, but I mean, when they're fighting you, I guess the stalkers stay away from you when they have stealth and try to, like, blast you. It's cute. I suppose the AI on the robot fights is fine. You never feel like there's anything really... They're doing anything really smart. They are just like animals. I wish the stealth stuff was a bit more interesting. I think the AI just feeds... Like, the crappy stealth AI kind of feeds into... Compounds the issue with the... The stealth and this having zero depth. Like, oop. I'm stealthing now, you know. <laughs> I just one shot everything and or not one shot everything, but do quite a bit of work. Looks like it's locked off. How do I get up there? A vent. I think I can pull it open. Like, what is it doing over there, man? There has to be some other way to get into the facility. Wonder if this can see me here. Yeah, and I think that's kind of what I like about with that. Because I mean, yeah, I guess it's not bad, but it's like it's it's more about how it affects stealth, and how stealth is already so fucking weak. And I was talking about that before, but it's another mark of like a fucking weak open world game of zero ambition. Like they could have had a really cool stealth right thing, right? You. They could have added a lot of options for stealth. 
had some interesting AI or, you know, some fun abilities, but instead they decided we're just going to do the exact same shit that always needed to be better. That's, you know, the rest of the competition. The same old super easy one button stealth with tall grass. The end, man. I, the only stealth tool I have is a rock and a smoke bomb. Smoke bomb just puts you in the same position as before. <laughs> and the rock. I mean, you have to like scroll through it, whip it out. It takes a Maybe bit. We can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. It has limited range. Like it's nice. I use it occasionally, but it's very basic. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. Killing hard optional bosses makes me heartbound. Good man. Keep that shit. Keep you keep you vascular. Feeling of being alive. Looking forward to Yeah, they say in general, or in the interviews that right, that would be a more accessible souls type of game. Locked. If that is the case, it would make me think, yeah, the side stuff is going to be the hard shit. Who knows? It might be total bullshit. No, I don't want them to compromise any vision they have because some people don't want to, like, reach those consoles. admit that maybe not every game is made for them. Gonna need a data key for this lock. That is like data key, fine power, module things. There we go. Huh. It's a joke of exploration and it's a joke there. of puzzle solving. Yeah, but that's just kind of what I mean. It's, I mean, uh -huh. you know, they decided that instead of having some ambition, pushing, uh, you know, some element of what makes these games so cut and copy. I don't think I can jump up there. Like making the stealth better. I just would not do it. And while the simple stealth isn't inherently like a big problem, seeing it exactly the same way in every single game, and in a game like this where I feel like it would actually kind of benefit it to have more interesting stealth, like that is, like, it is kind of... This is kind of lame, man. It's just, uh, it's like disheartening, but... I'm not really gonna throw any respect on it, right? Um, hey, Lloyd, <clears throat> would... Would you mind warning me next time you decide to, uh, uh blow up a wall? I'll, uh, try. <laughs> That's just super fucking... <laughs> That's just super asshole, though. <laughs> Sorry. For the uh, super fan. No, oh, we need this one. The only one I didn't pull. This one won't budge. Maybe one of the others. Well, the others have a battery on it. Sure, don't look it. Do look like that one, but Let's see what this does. There we go. That looks like some sort of conveyor. Can you move it over to me? Yeah. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. I don't have a choice to remove the ability for me to move it. Hold on. That's good. Jumping over. <sighs> Made it. I'm at the console. Wait. 
There's data here. A, a lot. But it's blocked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help. If I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. I gotta move there should this. be a power cell inside. Then you I need found to find the energy a way cell. into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. Anything in there? Oh, I just walked up the wall. I'm playing that. What was that one game? Let's go over here. What was that one game in the desert with the cell shaded art? Oh. <laughs> that was super fucking whatever. He would remember. I'm like too out of it to remember. This reminds me of that. All the really weak puzzles involving like just moving around power cells and shit. I brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way. These are pretty whatever. Cause you just have to hear them fucking backseat you're puzzling all the time. It's not even really puzzle solving. It's just fucking like... Doing busy work. Like it's usually very obvious what you need to do even before they tell you. What did she want? I should be able to reach all upstairs now. Rage on Blue Rage. It had a. Oh, so was it Sybil? Something like that. It was like a one word thing like that. Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously. Well, I respected that game more than this. At least they just try to own the full, like, just travel down around in the desert thing. They went for, like, a stylized. Some stylized art direction. I mean, it was a not interesting game, and there really wasn't that much to do. And the areas you actually went to weren't that exciting, which meant that the reward for adventuring wasn't that great. The world didn't feel good enough, and this fucking writing was the prose, if you will. <laughs> That's what it was. It was how the dialogue was written it was like way too flowery. I at least respected it more. It felt... You could feel a bit more of soul from it. Need to open the hatch. I'll get to the other <laughs> yeah, console. Like you stay here. It's, a, it's pretty much just to say that. It's just like the stealth. It's to say you have stealth. You could say this game has puzzles in a way, right? Because technically... I had to like blow up a wall to know to like it's not even a puzzle it's just a task but, but there are puzzles that are that simple in this <sighs> what did she want now get the other side i need to get to that other console i'm yawning a bunch i get my coffee okay you ready on two. One. Two. Commencing adamantine reach vulnerability test scenario 12C15. Okay. That's where we need to go. What 
have this barrier strong enough. That's how the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine restructural integrity uncompromised. <laughs> yeah, I hear. What did we just see? Damn, dude. I'm shook. Alpha. Jeez, shook. Let's meet below. She whispers. Might even meet up. I can just talk to her. Okay. With a whisper from across the room. We did, but I guess she doesn't know, and I guess we're physically seeing it. Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second. Who cares about her? Who cares about either of these characters, really? I'm always fucking boring as hell as well. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. Now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. <laughs> On a line, dude. Race against time to give them indigestion. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. Uh, most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Good. Alva. Alva. I get it. <laughs> the quippiness, yeah. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. Go on, she says with Please a pause. Please keep 